Hello, 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 hello. Right, let's get me thing up again. Get up, get up on the phone. Bear with me just a moment. Am I coming through clear, everyone? Is my voice clear enough? Just double check that everything's working. There we go. I think everything's good. Make sure I can't hear myself again. Alright, let's get the chat up. Hey Becky, how you doing? How's everybody doing? Just gonna wait for some more people to join. If more people join, that is. Is my voice coming through clear? Let's just see. Um, let's just turn off my Steam. Where's my Steam? There it is. So we want to get Steam. Go offline temporarily. There we go. Lovely. How's the quality of the video? Is it any good? Is everything working all right? Just have to cut out. So how many people we got watching? We've got five people watching. Welcome to the stream guys. Today we're going to be uh, destroying my map instead of making it, which sounds pretty funny, right? But yeah, as you can see, we've got a kind of a completed version now. There's still like details that I need to add and stuff, but they'll come later. But I'm going to make a destroyed variant now. We need to make it look a lot, look like a lot, uh, look a lot like a war zone. So what we're going to do is we're going to set some buildings on fire, we're going to create some craters, we're going to um, maybe add some sandbags and stuff around we're going to add a bit of story to it as well so we're in cinematic mode at the minute, what I've done is I've extended the oh that's not right is it, just move that up grab some C, come on C, where are you going, there there's one oh, sorry if I lap that bit there, there we go so I've extended the sea like loads and loads and loads so as you can see so now we can fit battleships, um, landing crafts, all sorts I have a really cool cinematic of them coming to the shoreline as you can see so we're just gonna move slowly forward here or maybe a tiny bit faster so quite a distance now look and then you can see the dock on the right and we've got the beach which everyone's seen already and now we have a full city as well like a bit like Long Beach California Hollywood Boulevard, this area right here. Uh, there's still a few bits at the back which need a bit more detail, but I'm going to add them right at the end just before I send it over to Diplex. What else have we got? We've got a construction yard now. Um, they've not really built anything yet, but they're preparing to build something. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a uh, oh, we've got a kids park because we've got to think about the little kiddies, haven't we? They've got to have something to do in this town. What else do we have? We've got uh, the docks and we've got a finished police station now. It's more like a sheriff's office to be honest. We have uh, like the cinema just there. A bunch of car parks and we've got this long strip right here right opposite the beach. Now complete with the tram line. I don't know if you guys saw that before. Oh welcome Squiggles. So yeah I think we're just going to crack on and we're just going to let's set fire to some buildings to begin with so realistically what the Japanese do the Japanese would invade from the coast right so I think they'd pull up with battleships wouldn't they some close range battleships maybe with some rockets and stuff like that so they'll probably bombard the area first so what we're going to do is bearing in mind this is a completely different map now uh, the other map has been saved as let's see if I can show you it the other map is now saved as California and this one we're working on now is called Cali Destroyed. So it's perfectly fine. We can we can do what we want to this now without it affecting the, the 
previous one. Welcome Daniel, nice to see everyone here again. As you can see I've added uh, the subscriber thing at the bottom of my screen now because I'm trying to reach the goal of 1500 subs. I've got nine days to go. Do you think I can do it? Well, of course I can do it. I'm on the, I believe in myself. We can do it, we can get to 1500 subs. Also, I think now, um, oh no, maybe not. Maybe I have to tweet that again, but I'm trying to get it so the chat shows up on the screen as well, but it doesn't seem to be working, does it? I'll have to figure that out on another stream. Never mind. So yeah, here we go. Let's um, get some flames going. In fact, we'll add some craters quite first from unexpected. the explosion. Oh, it's quite unexpected. Don't know if you heard that, but one of the English soldiers went quite unexpected. Right in my ear. Made me jump. Right, so let's add some explosions along the beach. So to add an explosion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to poly it out. This is a good good way to do an explosion. So we're just going to add some more polys, like so. Add them where we're going to have the explosion. So we're going to have one there, one there. One of them a bit close together. Like this. Another one there. Thank you very much, Daniel Martin. It's near, near completed now. It's just I need to add the detail now, that's all. But the first map's more for just cinematics anyway. I think we're going to be using the more destroyed variant more than anything. So now we've done that, what we're going to do is, to do a good crater, we're just going to raise the ground out, out a little bit, like so, so we've got a tiny little circle lump, and then with the minus thing we're going to just shrink, shrink the cursor down just a tiny bit, and right click, and there we go, we've got a crater then, and then we're just going to smooth off the edges, there we go, we have a crater. So now I've done that, let's find a nice type JJ, there we go, and we need a destroy. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go over to the shell hole. There we go. I'm just gonna use one of these. I think the bigger ones look nice. There we go. We've got a crater there now. Looks like a big explosion's gone off. Gavin McCarthy. I can't use the editor because I can't rebind the movement key in the editor. The movement key. Do you mean the W A S A D? W S A D is it? No. Yeah, W A S D. That's it. Oh, I have no idea. I don't. I don't. Didn't even know you could bind them. To be honest. Hey, Julius Miller. Long time, man. Welcome to the stream. As I've just said to everyone, um, I've spent I've spent the past few live streams uh, creating this um, California sort of style map in America for one of Diplex's upcoming series. And today we're just going to destroy it, I think. We're just going to make it look a bit tatty, a bit war torn. So, as you can see, I'm just making craters at the minute all along the beach. And oh, we should be getting a lot better performance as well now because I've just upgraded the PC. My brother helped me out a lot, so a big thank you to my brother. I've just upgraded to a nice I Intel i7. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM now and a GTX 980 graphics card, 4 gigabytes. So I'm absolutely killing it on every, pretty much every game at the minute. Which means it's going to be a lot better quality videos and a lot bigger battles for you guys in the future. What else do we have? Uh, polys, there we go. keep forgetting where I put them. So if we do the craters first and then we'll just add the polys after. So we're just going to elevate it like so. And then shrink it down and then de-elevate it. Like that. And then just smooth it off and it creates a crater, because you've got to remember when an explosion happens the sand around it goes everywhere and it creates like a sort of uh, that sort of shape, you know what I mean? So, we, oh, okay, don't want shells do we? Well, what we'll do is instead of, so if it's the, um, I can't even speak today if the shells are sitting over a stamp, if you've ever got a stamp sitting over a stamp you want to select the stamp and you want to go to order and just make the order larger than the other one and there you have it copy and paste that and it will now sit over any stamp which is there which is pretty cool oh the middle mouse button okay doesn't let me rebind the editor but it does in the game 
Oh, that's weird. I have no idea. Oh, you watched all the streams, did you, Julius? Nice, nice, nice. They were very long. Very, very long. I might have to start doing speed mapping instead, I think. I think fi a five-hour stream, I don't think anyone really wants to watch one of them. That's why I only get, like, 300 views. String that in. Let's smooth it off. So once we've got these craters on this beach, we'll add some FX and add some like smoke and stuff going around. That's a bit too a bit too high that bit, so we'll smooth it off a tiny bit more. There we go. I tell you what, we'll just paste these, we'll paste these around first. So we know where the craters are gonna be. We'll have one there, another 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 one there. Another one there. Just keep spamming them out like this. All work our way down. Because this is going to be where the, the Japanese are going to land on their landing crafts and charge up this beach. So after what we're going to do is we're going to mount some defences. Maybe some sandbags and stuff. Going along the edges. And we can't have too much defences because it's going to be a surprise. The Americans aren't going to see it coming. Somehow the Japanese Navy is going to sneak past the um, Americans and just like, you know, make, launch an invasion from air and sea. I'm thinking maybe have some aeroplanes come over and bomb the area as well. Some Japanese heroes from a nearby Japanese aircraft carrier. Welcome WVVY Gerb. You know Office Depot as a mouse like... Oh, okay, okay. Talking about the mouse. Just going to add some polys over these. There's one there. Just gonna keep covering them up. Remember, the more polys that you add to a map, guys, it um, creates more lag. So for better performance, you don't want to use as many polys. But my maps tend to be very processor hungry, so they tend to need like a more high-end computer to run. That's why Diplex and all all the bigger YouTubers, I think, they all have top-of-the-range computers, so they can all handle it. Gonna raise it up, raise that one up, raise that one up, raise that one up. Oh, dudes, um, be sure to um, check out my Discord if you haven't already. The link's in the description. Become part of the mighty family. We all share ideas, we share downloads, we have fun. We just really nice place to hang out. Just gonna raise the elevation. I've already done that one. Same with that one. I tell you what, what's right, We have some. Um, we'll have some Lucas King on. Let's put that. Put some Lucas King on. Let's go over to Mighty. I'm thinking about getting a computer that can support Men of War and start a YouTube channel. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Right, uh, just gonna go over to YouTube. We're gonna put some copyright free music on. What I'll do is I'll credit the dude after. I found this really cool dude, he's called Lucas King. I think he's got like a quarter of a million subs, but he does a lot of copyright free music and it's really, really nice to listen to, really relaxing. So we're gonna, we're gonna put some on. What should we have? Should we could have uh, the Star Wars ones? It's not really Star Wars, is it? Oh, there's a really cool Game of Thrones one here. Should we put that one on? At Harry's, we deliver high-quality razors oh, to your wow. door. Try us for less than oh, three quid. Okay. That's everything. There we go. I love this one. Turn it down just a tad. Awesome. See, that's, that's a bit better, isn't it? Let me know if it's too loud and I'll turn it down. A bit of Game of Thrones on the go here. In fact, I'll turn that down just a tad so I can hear myself speak. Oh, I've got to elevate that one. I 
How's the sound quality, guys? Is it, is it okay? Do you mind a bit of music, or would you prefer, would you prefer no music? Let me know in the comments. these sort of craters out. So these are going to act as a sort of uh, bombardment from the nearby battleships. Sound is all good? Nice one. Thank you moderator. My boy. Like I say, you all got to go and check out Lucas King's channel. Especially if you're going to start a YouTube channel up. I've already messaged him. He says all the music I can use for free on his channel. On my channel, should I say. And, uh... Oh, some of the music that he makes is insane. Alright, so... I've got the beach that's been bombarded. We're going to add some tinier craters now. Some... Let's go into Shell Hole again. Some of these ones. We're just gonna add the. What's it doing? What's it doing? Order 20, that's fine already. Just gonna paste these left, right, and center. How's the music quality? Can everybody hear the music okay? Or is it too low, too high? Gonna shrink because these are little. We're just going to shrink these into the ground, just a tiny bit. Hey, unknown lord. Welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome, CT five five nine seven. Guys, if um, if there's anybody watching that's not subscribed yet, if you do subscribe, your name will pop up on the screen and you will get a shout out but only if you're new to subscribing it doesn't work if you unsubscribe and then resubscribe it's already been tried right so let's make sure is there not a playlist or anything like that? I don't think there is let's see if we can find a nice Lucas King playlist so I don't have to keep changing it I've got to be very careful as well, just in case I hit a copyright thing. Alright, Lucas. Oh, there we go. Awesome. An ad. A nice, a lovely ad. There we go. Lovely. Some nice relaxing music. Gonna paste a few more of these. We need some little ones as well. You see, we'll have to, uh, we're gonna mash these um, umbrellas up soon. We'll just like send them everywhere. We'll send some on the side. Quite a sad song. Matches the um, the mood. Could you just imagine all the Japs pulling up? The explosions going off. The uh, the American National Guard all rushing to the front. Civilians having to take up arms. With nothing but their rifles and like a militia. California as I remember it. <laughs> Uh, I'm aiming for that sort of 1940s feel. I think I pulled it off. I'll do a bit of a showcase in a minute again. Just gonna get some more of these craters done. I always miss a few, you see. I think in like 
four different maps now. I've always missed like one or two craters. I placed them down, but they've just been a flat image. I don't want that, do we? Shrink them to the floor like that. Gotta love a bit of Lucas King. I think we're good there. Is that all of them? Pretty sure that's all of them. Alright, so now we're going to get some of these umbrellas and we're just going to going to bury them in the sand a little bit. We'll delete some as well. So we'll just evaporate. You should put like some 30 cal positions here and there for the guard. Yep, like I say, I'm going to add um, a few American defences, but there's not going to be too many because the Japs are going to take the Americans by surprise. So it's going to be whatever they could scramble. So maybe a few sandbags here and there because we've got a lot of sand. you got to remember the Americans will probably see them coming on the landing crafts and they'd literally have to rush from the nearest army base to the front line. Pad. What I'll have to do is I'll have to try and find a nice little playlist which is copyright free to play every time I do a live stream. I find them quite relaxing. Adds a bit of feel to the map as well. Every map that I make it has a story behind it. There's nothing random. Well, there is some random things like in the city and stuff. Like I said, there's a lot of detail that I've not added yet. But there's a reason that I've not added the detail. And that's because when I'm destroying it, there's going to be craters and there'll be rubbish and piles of rubble. And that's what I'm going to fill all these gaps with. Oh, the gangsters will be defending their turf. They sure will. There'll definitely be some sort of militia that rises up. So now, what I'll do is, when you've got the craters like this, you, some people go, that's done. The craters are there. Nope. They're too, they're too bland. What we need to do is now, we need to get... Uh, you see these... Um, the sand? We're now just going to up the order to 111. And we're just gonna not the darker one, but we need the lighter one. Like so. And we're just gonna throw them over it like this. Just to add a bit of coverage on this on like the uh, craters. A bit like that one. Makes it look really nice then. It starts to make it look a tiny bit more realistic, I feel, uh, when you add more sand over it. It's always the secret to doing a beach, I think. That's making custom craters rather than using the standard vanilla ones. The vanilla ones work really well for gameplay, but then I just don't think they look right. Because sometimes you get like, you can see the polys underneath the map. Because in game, the class is something called a cut entity. And cut entity is cut a part of the map out for the. Like the trenches, the in-game trenches. I don't. I really don't like using them. I like making my own. And you'd find any any decent map or will as well. They prefer to make their own trenches. Unless you're making like a really complex trench system, then the other trenches are really good to use. Just gonna save it just in case we crash. So we have some of the beach done. Now from here we're going to bomb out some of these bits here as well. 
So I'm pretty sure we have a bombed out one. I'm just going to copy that into there. We're going to find a destroyed one. Such as this one. Minus 180. It's always fun to make a map then after you've spent all those hours uh, like making it and then you just got to destroy it. Let's just change the text mod on that. Another ad. Don't you just love ads? Awesome. need one tiny bit broken. Oh no, what we'll do is here, we're going to move that over there, we're going to move the sand over it, a bit like an explosion's gone off, like so. It also acts as a good path for soldiers to run up, and this part here, now, we're going to change the text mod to a uh, burned, as you can see. And what we'll do is with this tree, we're going to knock it down. Uh, we're going to take the sand and just paste it over there. Like the sand's just blown everywhere. Will there be a bazooka, Willy? <laughs> um, maybe. We can add all sorts. I'm going to leave it up to Diplex to decide what it's going to use the mission for. Getting a bit of lag there. Strange. Alright, what have we got now? I think we're going to blow another hole in the wall here for another opening. So we're going to smooth that off. Build the sand up around it. Smooth it off even more. There we go. Paste the sand over just to get rid of the loose, like, what is it, the split ends, should I say? going to change that to burned again. But this time we're going to have the tree blown that way. Raise it out the ground a tad. There we go. Welcome History Gaming. What up Avex? Welcome to the stream. As you can see in the description, Hey, we have a new subscriber. Just waiting for him to pop up on the screen. Did it work? Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Shout out to Lone Wanderer Potato. Thank you for subscribing. Right, so now we have the beach. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Could you just imagine the, like the Japanese like landing and running up here now? I could. Looks pretty cool. So now we're going to move the craters over to the street, but we're not going to use the sand craters because if a crater, if we was to have an explosion in the ground here, it'll look a lot more gravelly, won't it? So we're going to add some gravelly ones. JJJ. I'll have to type JJJ just to get them all quick. Oh yeah, another ad. Awesome. <laughs> Remind me to make a playlist next time. So what was I doing? What was I doing before I got rudely interrupted with an ad? That's what I was doing. Yep. Let's make the crates. The not the crates, the craters. So we're going to find we're going to destroy. We've got burnt grass. We're gonna have a bit of this actually as well. So we're just going to take this burnt grass and we're just going to add it around these edges right here. It's not really going to make a difference, but it's just going to add a bit of depth to it. Like realistically, we'll probably have a bit of water in these as well. Maybe we could add that in the end. Actually, there is, actually, there is a tiny bit in this, I think. Only when the tide comes in there. Very cool. Alright, so we need to find. Destroy silver, maybe? No. Some more grass there. Paper cuts, definitely need some of that. I 
Right, there's a reason we're going to throw these everywhere. And that's because in the wind, with the explosions going off, there will be paper flying absolutely everywhere in the city. You'll see why in a minute, because I'm going to set some buildings on fire. We're really going to mash this city up, make it look really, really war-torn. Make it look post-apocalyptic. Not too post-apocalyptic, though. There's paper everywhere. It's going to be flying around in the wind. how it's placed, the paper's messy, it's random and messy. So there's much paper, more paper than Maria. It's going to be flying out of the windows, it's going to be blowing in the wind, it's going to be coming left, right and centre. So what we're going to do is now, we're going to add some craters aren't we? So we're going to go down to shell hole again, um, but this time we're going to find a shell, a shell hole which is like compatible with concrete. So There we go, that's a nice one. So what we'll do is we'll add one here, we're going to move this car. In fact, my, what we'll do is with that car actually, we're going to blacken it off. So if we go down to colour, if I can find it, there it is. And as you can see the car there, look, we're going to turn the turn the darkness upon him. That's not too much though. How about that? Now we've got the crater. And because this is a crater in the floor like that, we don't need to add anything around it really, because we're going to be adding rubble, like cover rubble. And in a crater like that, what we can do is we can add a pipe. So we'll just type tube, and then we're just going to lower a tube, a concrete tube there, which looks like the plumbing underneath the city. Like that. Let's have a read of the co comments. Hey, welcome Zappat. Another good YouTuber. You should meet the trolley de derailed. What is the mod? At Harry's, we deliver high quality razors to your door. Skip Try the ad. Free skip grid. the ad. That's everything. There we go. Ad skipped. Uh, the mod's called Ultimod. It's um, if you want the assets that I've got, you want to cross over the Born in the Fire America mod. You want to cross over the Lost Paradise mod. And you want to cross over Rob's realism mod. They're the three that I've got combined at the minute. So I'm making one. I'm making something called the Ulti mod. It's going to be just for me and Diplex at first, but then maybe eventually we'll just do an upload. It's going to be an all-inclusive mod of every every asset for World War Two. But yeah, I'm combining. I'm going to add the Rising Sun mod as well, and maybe try and get those huge battleships, like the Yamato class, whatever it was. Really make it look cool. Uh, to add some effect here, what we're going to do is we're going to just we're going to make all that around there. Text mods crushed and burned. There we go. I'm going to take this flag. If I unselect that, delete that. We don't need that. Same with that. Don't need that. Gonna do is we're gonna throw that down on the floor. The wind's still blowing it. Never mind that. Let's take some more of these. Watch what I do with this. We're gonna be getting rid of that tram there, and we're gonna be adding a new one. Vehicle. I go to train, tramway. Is it tramway? Nope, I know where I'm going. I'm going to the wrong place. I'm going to, go to entourage. No, I want to go to destroy. Yeah, no, model trash, that's the one. And we want this one. No, is it that one we need? Yeah. I was going to shrink this down. this up a tiny bit, rotate it in, just angle it just slightly, now we're going to get some smoke, we need some smoke and fire don't we, so smoke underscore 
We need smoke black big four, I think. That's the best one. Yeah, it's on fire. Just what I need. And always remember to tick storable, otherwise it when you reload the map, it'll just disappear. I'm just gonna add that in the middle. Raise it up and down. So now I've got that. That's on fire. Let's let's make some buildings on fire as well. Don't seem to be working like that, does it? Need to lower it down to the ground a bit more. If we add it underneath and on top, it'll look a bit better. That's better. Got a building that's on fire now. And to add some effect to that, what we'll do is we're going to take two fire engines. So where's the fire engines? There's one there. They're very old fashioned, but we're going to take two fire engines, we're going to have one there, and we're going to have another one there, like they've pulled up. And just to add more effects, we're going to take these barriers as well. I'm just going to copy the copy them around, we're going to knock that one into the, uh, away from the explosion there. It's going to get blown over, but we'll add another one there, another one there, another one there. But as you can see, that's just kind of on top of the thing, so we're just going to tilt that down slightly. So as you can see, it's a, it's a fully working environment. You can tell that they've just been bombarded by the Japs, so there's a huge panic in the city. And we need some more smoke, I think. But we're going to take some... Oh, not that one, that's horrible. Like, these are all Rob's E-smokes, so they're going to be a lot better than the vanilla ones. Molotov ground, maybe not that one. Uh, smoke Black Big, I think that's the one. That's the one we want. I'm just going to take these and we're going to add them onto some explosions maybe. Maybe add one in the ground just there. And now we're going to take that again, paste it. Have I caught the smoke as well? Let's just double check. No I haven't. Right, we'll add the smoke next. Another add. Put some rounds into the buildings for more realistic effects. How do you mean rounds? Do you mean like get a, get a soldier and shoot like shoot at the buildings? I don't think these buildings work like that, you see. Right. So add another one just there. Oh, this is a tune. Like I say, a big shout out to Lucas, Lucas King. He composes all of these um, really cool music, and they're all copyright free, as far as I know. He does all sorts. He does Star Wars ones. He does um, Lord of the Rings. He does all sorts. Uh, maybe we can have. We need some ambulances, don't we? Let's just cut. I'm gonna have to paste something over that. Shell 8. There we go. Awesome. Gonna have to take that. Delete that. We don't need that. In fact, no, we do need that, don't we? Because. Gonna knock that down. Need to delete them, that's what we need. We're gonna knock that into the road a bit. Like that. All access cover, you see, as well. There we go, there's that gun. It's starting to look really cool. Yeah, Zap Pack, yeah, you've got to really watch what you do with YouTube these days. Uh, you're not, al not really allowed to swear anymore. I think just me putting Destroy in California, I think that might just trigger it to be demonetized. So you just never know these days. Uh, what we're going to do is now. I'm thinking, should we just completely destroy a building? We'll take out this middle building right here. Oh god, maybe not. That one's too, too complex. We need to find a less complex building to destroy. So 
you turn it to rubble. We have another ad here, I think. Bear with me, I will skip it. Archer. Alright, so so good so far. So we've got I've extended the C for for all the new people. It's gonna be awesome. Let's have a little read of the connection dying. Is that on my end? It seems to be running alright. Welcome to the third right YouTube. <laughs> yep, they probably will destroy this video. I think YouTube at the minute, they really don't want to monetize much, do they? Not that it really makes a difference to mine yet. I think we're going to destroy this building. We'll take that building now and we're going to we'll turn it to rubble. So let's add some. Not that one. Starts up pretty cool. Right, so remember the building that was there? Let's find something to replace it that looks similar. I'm thinking maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Well, for now, we'll just get some sandbags for now, and we'll replace that building in a minute. I just need to have a quick think. So they're gonna—they're not gonna be—they're um, not really gonna be quick to respond, are they? So we're gonna have some little defences. And you gotta remember, a town—a town on the edge of the sea—they're gonna have sandbags, Andy, anyway, just in case of floods. So let's just cut this ed edge off here. We'll fill this in with some sandbags. that out there. Doesn't really have to be much detail to it, just make it random. Then perhaps we could get some sandbags along the sides as well. Wait for that extra look. Right, you see how it keeps getting lowered into the ground? What I like to do is turn the constraint to none. And it equals it off then. some sandbags going along the edge. Let's destroy this. Text mods. We want broken. Not broken, we want burned. There we go. Let's take this tree. Let's knock it down. It's going to have to be away from the direction of the... I need to get rid of this path right here. I can leave that bit going over the edge. That's pretty cool. Some stuff, yeah. Lucas King, really good. I've personally messaged him, like um, asking permission to use his music, and he said I could. So don't, don't like quote me on it being copyright free for everybody. But he said it was copyright free for me. I asked permission. Maybe he likes you to ask permission first. Another ad, another ad, another ad, another ad, another ad. Skip the ad. There we go. Ride a skip. Oh, it's all sad music today. Right, so we had a building right here, so now we're going to destroy it. Let's find a nice building to replace it with. I think I've got. I think I know one. Pretty sure it's in town E. I'm going to go for. What have we got? We've got Reichstag buildings. They're a bit. That's quite a nice one to replace it with. If we change the text mod. Oh, we can't for some reason. But it doesn't look exactly the same as the other building. But once we cover it in fire and stuff like that, and add some rubble around it, people won't know the difference. So what we're going to do is we're just going to raise the elevation around it, only around the parts where there would be rubble, but not too much. There we go. We're going to burn all this. It needs to be burned. We'll burn that as well. There we go. 
So we're going to burn all that. Burnt. Lovely. And now we're going to place some stamps down. The stamps are going to be, they're going to consist of destroy and we're going to go for some crashed brick. Which look really nice. Which is my favourite. It's hard to it's hard to decide which one's your favourite. These are going to come in handy to go around all around the town anyway. In fact, we'll have some of these going around at the minute. Some rubbish and stuff. Some garbage. Really adds to the effect of it being like a war zone. I'll add some barriers soon as well, which the civilians will make themselves. The barriers. Uh, they'll just build them up, like throw like tables and chairs up to defend their home. Quite sad, really. While this is going on, there was just a poor woman pushing her like buggy. Did you get Diplex to prevent your stream? Oh, I completely forgot, to be honest. I did mention that I was streaming, but he didn't. He didn't reply. So, welcome, Lord Killeris. If I said that right. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Your name will pop up on the screen. Right, so so far then, we've kind of destroyed the beach and like the front promenade. That's kind of getting a bit war torn. It's starting to look pretty cool though, right? I'm starting to like it. We're going to add a few more of these uh, craters. Oh, I think we've got one over here without any smoke. Not, not the line we need the crater. Which one is it? There we go. Awesome. We'll have another one, maybe in the centre right here. So what we'll do is we're gonna. Oh no. Go back. We'll delete all that first. Paste it down again. Lower it into the ground. And we're gonna add some more of those pipes. They always look really cool. The actors cover as well. Really nice cover. I'll have these ones going kind of diagonal like that. And now we need some crashed brick. That's what I was going to do originally, wasn't it? I keep going off track. So, what do you think? Shall we add. We've got the red brick. And they are kind of red, aren't they? And that's burnt, so. For now, we're just going to add a standard sort of rubbish brick, like that one. Knock the order up to 112, because that's going to be the priority. Just mix it in a bit like that. And then after I will add some cobble to like make it look a bit more 3D. Another brilliant ad. Loving it. Loving the ads. Don't you just love ads, guys? And then then everyone calls me a hypocrite because I've monetized this video. <gasps> Alright, so now we've got the sort of uh, look to it. We're now gonna set fire to it. So we're gonna grab one that's already there. There we go. Oh, we definitely need some of those going around. Paper. Let's take this fire. Starts to look really cool now, right? What we're going to do is going to blow these cars away. So, this car over here, turn it a bit, tiny bit darker. So that's starting to look pretty cool, I think. 
as you can see, it's a similar shape to that building that we had before, which was the same as that. But we've just kind of replaced it. And what I can do is I can add a no pass. I'm just going to turn this music down just a tiny bit so I can hear myself. Sorry if I hear anybody's ears in. Yeah, I can hear myself again now. But yeah, like I say, um... Whoa. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. The leaves are sort of like... Gone weird. Never mind. So we've got one building on fire there. I think that would kind of catch, wouldn't it? So we're going to add some more fire going up here. Some more going there as well. Some more on this one. And I think again we're going to destroy another building. Which one should we destroy? We could kind of... Let's see how this one looks. If we like tilt it down into the floor. Oh, there's a person running that. Maybe not. What do you think? Nah. We're not going to tilt that into the floor. I'm just going to save that quick. How do you download the mod? I could say this is a mix of several mods, this at the minute. So it's not out yet, but I will, I'll I'll probably release it in the future. Like all you got to do is stay tuned on this channel. And I'll be adding download links, updates, all sorts. I know a lot of people in the modding community as well, so any updates that they have I could probably, probably announce on this channel as well. How many people are watching? Let's have a lot. We've got 18 people watching. Welcome people. Um, how many subs are we at? Let's have a look at how many subs we're actually at. Let's have a look at the subscriber count. We are now at 1,448 subs. Like I said, I've got a goal for to get to 1,500 subs in the next nine days. Think we can do it? So if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe, and your name will pop up on the screen, and you will get a shout out. Oh, see you later, CT5597. Thank you for tuning in. It's starting to look really look nice now, isn't it? But yeah, we're going to destroy another building. I think, should we destroy some of the docks? Let's destroy some of the docks. This one, we're lucky because we can just do that. Boom. We'll just cut some of the, cut some of the building off. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a crater right there now. That's it. Oh, okay. Well, potty mouth, this dude. All right, we need some, we need some gravel on this one. Where's the gravel? We're going to add that just there. We're going to bring that in a slightly. Okay. And now we're going to just add a bit of smoke there. I think nothing more. But like we did with this one over here. Like the fire's gone out, but it's still kind of active. One thing that I am looking for, which no one's added yet, is do you know the sparks? Like the it's like orange sparks from from let's say say like when you've got a tree and it's it's no longer on fire, but you can tell it's still red hot. I kind of want that sort of effect. Is the smoke working there? Oh no wonder I selected paper. Got some more paper around. Why not? Can never have enough paper blown in the wind. So we're going to select the smoke if we can. See so if we can do it this time. We'll take the pipes as well, why not? Delete that. Delete that pipe. There we go. Awesome. Which is pretty cool because we can still have men inside here as well. It's going to be a good vantage point for a machine gun, I think. Maybe we could have some soldiers in here, like, take control of the docks. And because this is a, a different map, we're going to just send this boat out a tiny bit. Maybe about there. Just changes the map up just tiny. 
In fact, should we blow it up? Let's sink it. We're going to sink the boat. It's very shallow, isn't it? Let's just make it a tiny bit deeper, the water. There we go. That's a lot better. Don't just love this. Watch how this boat sinks, guys. Oh, watch. It's like the Titanic. Let's do a Titanic. So it's flat. It's the iceberg. It starts to go down, doesn't it? Right, the back, the back end starts to go down, and then it starts to fill. I just love the effect. Look, it looks really cool. Like an actual sinking boat. Then as it's going down, it kind of like fills the deck. It sticks in the air, like so. Oh god. And then it's going to go down like this. Go down by the head. And that's where you got Jack and Rose at the top going. Oh, on three, one, two, three. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I don't know. We're just going to bury this kind of in the sand. And we'll add a bit of fire. Should we set it on fire and just like kind of sink it just a tad? Like there's a cargo ship trying to tip, like move. And as soon as the cargo ship moved, it just got like blown up or something. It's all pretty cool. So we're going to take this fire. Where's the fire gun? Copy this. Move that over. Did we even get any fire then? I don't think we did, did we? Like I say, we've still got a bit of a gap over there to fill as well. But we'll just fill that with like rubble and stuff. Oh, see you later, Julius. Benji Hill, how's the new age mod doing? Uh, the new age mod, it's um, it's kind of laying dormant at the minute. Nobody's really working on it because everybody's working during the summer. So we'll, we're just waiting. So as soon as like the winters come, we're going to be making a lot more progress on it, I think. But I know there's not been many updates, is there really? I might have to do an update video on it soon, just showcase like what we've got already. I kind of did one already though, so there's not really much else to show. I still got a lot more skins I need to port over. Right, we need some more fire engines, don't we? I'll have another one maybe pulled up inside here. Like that. Do we need any more crash brick? We do we need some over here, don't we? Around there. Got some around here as well. No, I like fire too, but the ship looks like it was there for some time. You think? I'm just thinking maybe the ship, because this is a completely different map now, I've saved it as a completely different file. Rather, because we've got the pristine one, then we've got this damaged one now. So it's going to be it's going to be used for a series, so we kind of need one of each. Is that ship back to front? I think it is, isn't it? It needs to be that way. Right, so I'm thinking... Maybe we could sink the ship like it's been bombed or something by a Japanese Zero. So maybe we could leave it like that. That doesn't look like it's been there for too long, does it? Sink it down a bit like that. And then we'll just set it on fire. That'll look pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like set on fire first. If it looks crap, we'll just get rid of it. You have to all tell me what you think, if we'll keep it or not. I'll try, I want to try and make it look as damaged as I can. Like this sort of area. This is going to be the staging point for the invasion. So I'm just going to move that up there. Just completely set it on fire. Just shows that the area that they've sunk in is kind of shallow still. Big enough for a boat, but shallow still. Just shows the devastating effects of the Japanese moving to the American coast. That'll act as a sort of supply ship, wouldn't it? So just gonna double check, make sure this is Lucas King playing. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is definitely Lucas King, yeah. Awesome. Right, so we'll just keep that ship as it is then. Like I can add sound effects as well, like a burning flame. I can add that sound, but I'll add all that later. So far so good, I think it's looking quite good, isn't it guys? It's all got quite a lot to destroy though. Let's just see how many people we've got watching. 
Oh. So we have 11 people watching. Everything seems to be working alright, yep, nice. Still getting pop ups from the bloody um, YouTube. Alright. So this is the character, this is the sort of scaling we have so far. Quite it's quite scaled if you ask me. About right. But I'm gonna I'll delete him for now. Because what we're gonna do is now we need to add some military structures. It's ready a bit of defence. Oh, let's just get rid of this bench. Can we text mod the bench? Just winter textures. Or we're going to turn this bench over, like leaning over the sandbags, to act as a defence. A bit like that. That's pretty cool. It's a bit pointy that area there. Just make the brush a bit smaller. Smooth it down a bit. There we go. Same with over there. You can always see it from other angles. Looking nice. Right, second of all, right, so the bit the Japs haven't landed yet. We've just got to remember that. The Japanese haven't landed yet. Hey Jamie, how you doing man? Welcome to the stream. So so far so good. I always do this, I always like get caught up and just start looking at it. I just love to look at the, the maps. Especially when I'm creating them. It's like this just a perfect cutscene really. In fact we're gonna get a nice little screenshot there. Looks really cool. Maybe that angle maybe. Make a good thumbnail maybe. Oh excuse me. I wanted to add better ambient to the Pele Loom map. How do I do that? <coughs> well for the beach. Well I think you had a pretty good idea, but one thing I noticed you didn't add any of these shells. Remember, on any beach there's shells. Well, most beaches there's shells. And you also didn't add a different texture. you got to remember that the sand the sand changes texture when wet. And also if you go into um, stamps, you'll also find these waves. And these wave effects under the water as well. And it's good to add like a coral. Well, it looks pretty cool. So, so far so good. Right, the docks. What we're going to do here, we need an explosion in the docks, definitely. So, we're going to move one of these um, concrete sort of craters over here as well. Just kind of fill all these open areas up. Oh, excuse me if you can hear my chair. Might move these crates back just a tiny bit. I'm going to shrink these into the ground. Make them look cool. With ambient, I have epic background sound. How do I add it? To add a background sound, um, you've got to go into service, and you've got to go into sound, and add one of these down. Any of them. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm just going to save it just in case I crash. Because it's the last thing I really want right now. That's it. I think I've just killed everyone's eardrums if you're in a headset. But um, yeah, you place one of these down and you can select the options and choose which sound that you actually want. It's also really easy to create sounds as well. You just got to create a wave sound. Let's skip this next ad. Awesome. So, what we've got so far then? We need some smoke. I keep saying we need smoke, but I can never bloody select it, can I? Copy this over here into like this blank spot. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Should be left with some smoke then. Yep, smoke black big, there we go. These smoke black big, these are really good just to add into the craters. Just to make it look like there's been an explosion, like recently. Maybe we could add some inside these ones as well. The 
But then again, would there be? There wouldn't be black smoke in there. I think black smoke's very. I think you only, do you only get black smoke from a vehicle? Is it maybe? Where did it come from? So we're going to delete that truck, and now we're going to go for a destroyed truck. So we want to go into construction. We want to go into model trash. I want to find truck and just got destroyed. So there we go. Looks like a similar truck, but now a destroyed version. And I think we have a really good text, like texture for that as well, like a nice stamp. Destroy. Shell hole. Ah, I know it's. I know where it is. It's in. Um, not New York. Not rail cover. Is it? Destroy. I'm trying to remember where this is. It's destroy tank. I'll just type it in. Destroy underscore tank. Oh, maybe not. It's definitely in the. Uh, definitely, definitely in here somewhere. Not service. It's in landscape. Stamp. Shell hole. There it is. Shell hole. There we go. Dead car. That's the one we want. Really nice effect. There's another one like going around here as well. Perhaps we can have another. Right, add some going around there. Add that sort of explosion effect going around it. Yeah, it looks really cool. I think we'll have some. Yeah. Is it too early for grenades? Yeah, definitely too early for grenades at this precise moment. Uh, that one's for like an oil drum or something like that. Do we have any oil drums anywhere we can just blow up? There's one there. But we're going to leave that in game because it's going to be really cool to see that blow up. Let's have a quick read of the comments. I think the dock should look more damaged than the rest of the city since they are the primary target. Well, the primary target is just... Um, it's the beach in general. I think it's. I think the objective would just be to get troops onto the beach, and I think the docks would be more like a a blockade, so that nobody can escape. Not that they'd want to escape because it's America. I know that, but you've got to think about cargo, import, export. So they might blockade the port. So that's why we've got the exploded ship. Adds a bit of a, like depth to it as well. But yeah, we're going to damage the docks a lot as well. We're going to kind of just like. Make the docks look just like this. Like this is what we've kind of done already. A little bit more like a bit more destroyed there. Have another one there, another one there. We'll have another one in this car park, another one there. Hey, it's copying the smoke with it now. Another one there, another one there. We're gonna blow these crates. We're gonna send them everywhere. So we'll have one of these like just blow over here on its side like that delete the rest because they're just going to go to pieces screw that, get rid of all of them, we don't need them just going to shrink that into the ground again shrink that one into the ground same with that one. Just going to hold shift and um, thingy the edges off a tiny bit. It's going to be awesome. So black smoke is wet stuff or rubber, oil, burning, carbon, heavy stuff. Yeah. I suppose it is. Maybe we could mix a bit of grey smoke in with it. But then again you've got the plumbing and stuff which would be under here so you never know. And because it's concrete as well, you have a lot of burning rubber from like tarmac and stuff like that. So it makes sense to have black smoke coming from the buildings, from the cars. Maybe we can mix it up with a bit of grey smoke or something. I think the beach looks a bit bland at the minute. Mind you, when all the machine gun fires going off and the Japs are running up the um, the beach, you all know that the Rob Z realism effects, they're really, really good. So it's going to create like a sort of depth of field. And you're going to see the smoke from the weapons, and it'll look really cool. And we don't have to use this sky. This sky's just a tiny bit sunny, maybe. Let's go for a bit more of a dull, like a duller sky, something like that, maybe. Like that looks pretty cool. It makes it look a tiny bit more old-fashioned as well. 
I love how that's spinning still. Like nothing's going on. Right, we're gonna have to move the cars because I have another fire engine pull up there. But you gotta remember this is post. So we're gonna move all the cars. We're gonna move some cars pulling into the police station. We'll have some police coming out. So we're gonna move the police cars up. Creating roadblocks. I we'll have a police car there. We'll take that police car here. Kind of pulling up. I'm just gonna skip this out again so we've got some more cool music. Right, so we've got the police police cars pulling up. We're going to put blockies on the roads. There's going to be a few roadblocks. Because you got to remember, the police ain't going to know what's happening, are they? They're just going to think, whoa, what's going on here? In fact, can we destroy that? Oh, no, but we can change the, like, the colour of the police car. These are drivable, by the way. Which are pretty cool. So maybe we could have like uh, them coming into the map. That would be pretty cool. Um, welcome if you're new to the stream. We're creating a well. I won't say we're creating. We're more. Dis we've created like a sort of Long Beach, California, like Los Angeles sort of like town, and we're going to simulate the Japanese invasion of America. Are they flat? They are, aren't they? So what I'm doing is now, after building it, I'm now destroying it. it takes a lot of time to build. Like I put a lot of effort into my maps. This up to now has took me about a week to complete. But I would have got it done a lot faster, I think. What I've done is I've just upgraded my system. So I'm now running an Intel i7 with 16 gig of RAM and a GTX 980, 4GB. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to render videos in a lot better quality as well. I can already tell that I'm getting a lot less lag. But what comes with uh, better, better specs on your system? A lot more heat. So my computer's getting a lot hotter, so I'm going to have to invest in some cooling, I think. Oh my god, what have you done? I went to eat my dinner and came back to the city destroyer. <laughs> yep, well, we've kind of, what I've done is I've saved the city, as before. as a, I've called it California. And what I've done is I've resaved it. I made a, it's like a complete new map now, so we can revert back to the pristine version whenever we want. But this version is going to be used for like the first version is going to be for cinematics, you know, like Happy Life. You know, you could maybe have like um, I don't know, script some people to walk around, you know, just doing the day-to-day -day thing. Maybe have like a song in the background, like bum 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 bum. bum. That's a really cool screenshot, actually. Let's get that one. Yeah, and you could have Mr. Sandman bring me a dream. Bum 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 bum. You know, you could just make it look really cool. And then next thing you know, zap, it goes to a war zone. That looks really cool. We're just gonna let's just stare at that for a little bit. I still have the American flags just like swaying in the air, and everything else is just on fire. It's like dead. But yeah, for the first time ever, we're gonna have like a simulation of Japs, um, like landing on the on the beach, which is gonna be really cool. I'm really looking forward to playing on this map myself as well. I've not actually tried it out yet. I will have to try it before um, I send it over to Diplex. But I've still got a lot of maps to do for him as well. The next map is, is going to take half of the time. Because one, I've sampled pretty much everything there is. Uh, so I can just copy and paste it onto the next map. But the next map is going to consist of a lot of suburbs. But yeah, I think the range of the cannons is going to reach as far as maybe this road here. So maybe up to about here. We're going to tear down a few more buildings in a minute. Is there stuff like shot yet on exploded ordnance? How do you mean? Do you mean like the barrels and stuff? You've got. I'm going to place a few of these around. That's fully explosive in game, so it could have some really nice explosive effects. Um, but other than that, I'm going to create most of it myself. Well, that's pretty cool. It's got bullet holes in it already. Maybe we could have that going into the crater. Like that. That was pretty cool. Like the explosion's gone off in front of him. Them. 
go, that looks very nice. Let's go and delete that now. Where did that smoke go? I'm pretty sure I just selected some smoke. Gotta love the ads, gotta love the ads. I'm just going to deselect that. I think if we've got just the, yeah, that's what we want, just the smoke. Let's give him a smoking engine. Make it look really cool. Could you just imagine the National Guard now just running through the streets, people running for their lives? We'll copy and paste more of these. Medics run into the thing, evacuating the people. See if we can find some body bags in a minute as well, that'll look pretty cool. We'll have a few of these pulled up. Some pulled up down here as well. We'll have a convoy of them. Unexploded shells. Oh, we could do. Uh, can we do that? I think we have got shells that we can place down, but I think they explode on impact, so I'm not going to risk that, you see. You see, I try and avoid a lot of crashes, because if you tend to, the way I see it, if you tend to blow things up in-game, then save it, sometimes it can cause glitches. Not not a lot of the time, but I don't really want to risk it, you see. Especially if it's for a YouTube video. You know, the less glitches, the better. Uh, so what we got here? We need some rubble, don't we? So what I'm going to type here is cobble. And you get these really cool little stones here, look. And men can walk through them. So what you can do is here, you can just pile them up. Just put them around the edges. That's what I like to do anyway. Put them around all the edges to make it look cool. And I think there's a red variant as well, so if there's any red brick buildings, you can just throw them down as well. How are you guys liking the music? Pretty cool, right? Lucas King. I'll I'll be putting his uh the link to his uh channel in the description um, shortly after this video. Okay. I I also know a really cool bit of road that we could put here, but because it's a cobble road, I'm not going to use it. It's a really cool asphalt thing from the bridges. I could use that, but it's not. It won't really make sense in this with these sort of cobblestones. But these just give it some depth, make it look a little three D. And men can run through them as well, which is really handy. I use them a lot on their uh, their he shells. Yeah, they are, but they're not really. I don't know. Maybe we could put a few of them. A few unexploded bombs would look pretty cool. But they're so, they're so pristine looking, aren't they, the HE, HE shells? I remember once, um, I don't know if you remember the, do you remember the Tobruk map that we made? For Diplexer Channel? We made like this uh, Tobruk fort, and we made this ammo dump. And we didn't realise, we placed all these HE shells down, like the pristine ones, before they got put into like the tank. And we didn't realise that they, they are very, very, very explosive. So then, I think we must have piled up about a hundred of them, maybe? And we put them under like this um, German netting. And it during the battle, a bomb hit the netting, and it caused this massive, like this huge, laggy explosion. But it was kind of, kind of funny to be honest. But I don't think I make that same mistake again, just for like uh, performance issues. So add loads of this cobble around. Starting to look pretty there, right? Another ad. <laughs> you monster stops destroying things. Has to be done. Oh, it's kind of turn this up just a tiny bit. Tell me if it's too loud and I'll turn it down. That looks really cool. I think we need 
definitely need to add some more of this cobble to the that, that crash down building that we have over there. We need to add a few more of those buildings as well, I think. Going to give the beach a really nice bombarded look. See how many subscribers we have. Refresh it. Oh, we're almost at 1,450 subscribers. The goal is 1,500, guys. So if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I will please you with my videos. Because I have a lot of planned content. Like, really cool content coming out soon. I think, I think my channel is really going to peak in the winter, more than anything. When I'm not as busy. Yeah, this is pretty cool because we're getting like the best of both maps. Uh, the first map can be used for it can be used for anything really. We could even use it for like a little gangster mod. Do gangs versus gangs. Could do all sorts with it really. Would you say it looks a lot like America? I'd say it's looking quite similar. I've never been there, mind, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job. We're just gonna make these just a tiny bit larger on this one. Do a lot bigger. as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, come on guys, there's nothing like it, is there? You could just sit here on the night, mapping, listening to some really relaxing music, bottle of flavoured water at the side. Can't beat it really. I remember making the you know the pagoda castle that I made for the Flexus channel. Uh, I spent a whole night doing that. Just just one night. I think it took me about six hours to make that map. And uh, very sad music, isn't it? But yeah, I spent the whole night listening to like uh, Japanese relaxing music. And God, it was like I was so stressed before. But like instant stress relief. I'm gonna shrink that down into the ground just a tiny bit. I wonder if we have any text mods for these buildings to add bullet like bullet marks. Let's just double check the comments. See if I missed anything. I don't like to ignore people. Welcome Dark Knight 391. Good night Lord Killerus. Sorry I missed it. Oh you love the Call of Duty maps. They're made by a guy called Wigger. Very talented mapper. In fact I'd like to, I'd like to contact him actually. Be a nice person to have on the Discord. Hey! We have another subscriber. Welcome, Braden Green. Thank you for subscribing. D E R eight eight three nine seven. So D E R eight eight three nine seven. Thank you for subscribing. I have no idea where. Like, you can actually see through that. It looks really weird. I think that's a kind of. I think it's because there's smoke behind it. It's like a glitch. Have you noticed that my sub goal is still at 1,444? Should we actually see what it actually is? 1,451 it's actually at. For some reason it doesn't seem to be going up does it down there? So I'm going to have to sort that out. Right, so what we're going to do next, we've got a convoy coming down here. is looking really nice. So let's, let's do a quick cinematic look over this road. Let's move down here very slowly. Got the 
American flag just lying there on the floor. Kind of sad, really, because this could have actually happened. A very slight chance of it happening, of course, but... What if it did? It's looking very nice so far. Quite proud of that. We've got this lovely destroyed building here. What we can do is, we'll, we can make this building just a tiny bit darker. Like the smoke's dyed it or something. There we go. A bit like that. Braden Green. Do I do maps for Diplexy? Yes, I do. I'm his mapper. I'm his full-time mapper. I'm actually employed by him. Well, kind of. Gentleman's handshake. Right, so we're going to do the craters reaching as far as here, aren't we? We're gonna. What we're going to do is we're going to really border off... I think the defences will get better the further back that the uh, the town will go. So I think we're going to add more sandbags and more defences over here, more roadblocks, more police. Make it a bit worse. Yep, yeah, Avex, he's also a mapper for Diplexia. Yeah. Skip this. Uh... Oh, I thought that was an ad, but it's not. I'm gonna turn it down very slightly. It's a bit better. Yeah, it's looking lovely so far. I'm pretty sure if I do a night sky, I'm pretty sure these windows actually glow, like the lights are on. It's pretty cool. Oh, sometimes if you subscribe, um, Dark Knight. If your name doesn't pop up, it's because that too many people are subscribing at once. It, it doesn't register all of them. But what I can do is, I can repeat the uh, subscriber. So we've got enough of those, I think. There's enough medics going around. We have enough fire engines. We need some more craters going around the uh, the docks, I think, don't we? Let's just bring that up just a tiny bit there. We'll add a bit of cover inside there by using the... Where are they gone? The pipes. We need some of the pipes. There they are. Just what we needed. I'm just going to cut these through here, like that. It just looks like there's a bit of plumbing underneath then. Welcome David Rimmer. Fourteen forty four is right. Are you sure? Let's have, let's have a double check. Uh, according to mine, it's 14:52 on mine. Maybe mine's a bit later than your. Like maybe mine shows up a bit like quicker than your guys. I've got my uh, live subscriber count thing up on the other side. Let's get rid of this ad. Two, one, zero. Right, I need some ideas from the comments. What can we do? We need to add a story. So what's the story of, let's say, these buildings right here? What's going to happen to these buildings? You guys can create the story for it. You've got to remember how close they are to the, the ocean. Do these buildings stay or do they get destroyed? Do we set them on fire? You guys decide. Yeah, the mobile, I think it's a bit different on the mobile, Avex. Maybe it'll look, maybe it'll update later or something. 
Oh, we still got some flat ones over here. See, I always do this. Let's bring them in just a tad. Smooth the edges. Smooth the edges. Smooth the edges. Smooth the edges. Lovely. Definitely need some cobblestone around here, don't we? Oh, don't need any of them. Oh, as a matter of fact, what we can do is... You see these barrels? What would the civilians do with these barrels? They would move them in front of the doors. They would barricade the doors. They would not want Japanese like, infantry getting in there. Also, these barrels here, they'd be moved over to the edge for a better cover. Maybe, can we destroy them? I don't think we can, can we? Change the text mods and why not? Let's burn. Let's burn some of this. Text mods. Burned. There we go. Looking cooler every minute. Yeah, barricades and windows. I agree. Yep. Then again, it all happens in such an instant. I don't think would they barricade the windows? I think they just move furniture in front of them. So what we're gonna go, what we're gonna do is, guys, we're gonna go to entourage, and as you can see, we've got barricades here, different ones. They consist of all sorts, lot. We're just gonna go through them, and we're just gonna add these in front of the, sort of like in front of the entrances of buildings. Adds a bit of cover for the buildings there, because as you know, we can't actually put men in these buildings, which is a bit of a shame really it's from there as well so we're gonna have to just fight around the buildings unless we destroy some so we could grab that and go <laughs> but like the old-fashioned games how it just goes <laughs> boom gone in fact we're gonna do that actually let's completely make a rubble pile right here I can delete that there we go so that building's gone in the middle what we're going to do here now is we need to make a giant rubble pile. Make it look like the building was like completely disintegrated. Maybe do it coming out a bit. We'll bury the car. Always remember to bury the stuff as well. So we want to lower the car into the ground. We're going to move this out because we don't need that there anymore, do we? We'll add this at the side of the truck. going out around the back as well because this building's completely gone collapsed we'll have to burn those burn these trees it's gonna be really cool I'll make a video after and I'll try and do a bit of a cinematic from it transitioning from like a really pristine looking town like happy town into like a really dull sort of destroyed town like it is now right, it's gonna delete those for now and it doesn't matter if there's any stamps over it Some emotional fantasy music apparently. Alright, so now we're gonna go for rubble again. So we're gonna go for this rubble over here. And we're gonna Oh, wrong one. We don't want that one. Pull those sir. I keep selecting the wrong one. In fact no, we're gonna mix it up a bit actually, let's change it. So JJJ, we're gonna go to destroy. We have some crushed brick. Which one should we go for? It's a bit more of a red brick, so we'll go for more of a redder brick. We need to make it more... We'll do order 200, so it goes over everything. Including the car. It looks like the car's buried now. Just going to spam that over. And it looks like a building used to be here then. I need to delete this thing up here. In fact, we could take that and we could stick that like a piece of wood. Sort of going into the thing. Like that, there we go. So we go, the, the middle building is just completely disintegrated. Which would be kind of weird because one of the floors, there'd be no windows there, would there? This is going to be a hard one to solve. Let's have a read of the comments. Add some dead bodies to it. Hmm, that could be a good idea, but... Maybe some dead civilians, that would be pretty cool. 
having firefighters on an invasion seems a bit weird. I don't know, I think firefighters would they would get called to the fire, wouldn't they? They're definitely they'd they have a was it a five minute, ten minute response time? So with the explosions going off, all the emergency services would be going crazy. You'd have police bordering off roads trying to calm down the civilians. Uh, you'd have fire engines going to put out fires. You'd have civilians like just running everywhere. Some civilians taking up arms, uh, throwing barricades everywhere. Because you've got America. I don't know if we've got any Americans in the chat, but a very patriotic country. Very proud country, isn't it? Or should I say nation? Alright, so how are we gonna make these windows up a bit thingy? I don't think we really can, can we? So I think they're just gonna have to stay as they are. I'm still flying, look at that. So we've got, we've got a torn down building in the centre now. Let's have a look at some of the comments. I think I've missed some. Sorry if I keep missing your comments. Add some destroyed planes. Yeah, that's a good idea, Jamie. We'll add some, maybe some Japanese zeros. We have to destroy some and just place them around. Some dead bodies. Yeah, we could maybe add some dead bodies on a, a bit later. Just get rid computer, of this ad, and then I'll continue to, to read the comments. All right. So what else do we have? I'm just gonna lock. Once to read the rest of the comments, we're gonna lock it on this sort of angle right here. Right, so Man Mighty is an awesome map maker. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Military firefighters. I think I've got some really cool firefighters as well. I've got all of the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas skins in here as well. They're all in Men of War now. And they come with like the firefighter skins, but I don't think they're very 1940s, are they? They're more modern. So this is all just for show really. Maybe we've got police officers. We're definitely gonna have some police officers in the battle. I think and we're definitely gonna have some uh National Guard, definitely. Definitely gonna have some National Guard. And what else should we have? Yeah, so police officers and national guard, maybe some civilians with rifles and stuff. That would look pretty cool. I think the standard issue rifle is going to be the Springfield and the M1 Grand. Oh, and the Thompson. Oh, the Tommy gun as well. That's going to be very popular. Oh, I can't stop looking at the map. Oh, does anybody else ever do that? Do they find themselves looking at the map more than making it? I'm doing that a lot lately. Alright, so we've got a very pristine looking building here. I think maybe we should destroy some of these. So we're going to take out. Let's take out half this building. Not the whole thing. What we're doing? Take out half. There we go. And now we can build up some rubble around it. Looks like the building's been taken out. Actually, that's a bit grey, isn't it? So for the grey one, we're going to add. That's a pretty cool one. I think that might just be a tad too much rubble there, so we're just going to lower it down a bit. Maybe add a crater in the middle as well. Yeah, that looked really nice. So we're going to take this crater and we're going to duplicate it there as well. Add a bit of smoke. Yeah, that looks really cool. It's like a direct hit on the building then. I don't think we can have men up there now though. I think we can still mount them in the windows. So if there's any boats coming down, we can still thingy them. Shoot them machine guns. We'll keep that boat looking brand new because they're not going to target every boat are they? Especially if it's dock. It's just a waste of ammo. Some civilian soldiers Jamie. Yeah that's that's a good idea. Braden Green, are you going to do a battle after or just keep making the map? Uh, what I might do is at the end of the uh, after I've done the map I might uh, test it out. Maybe I'll place some infantry on the beach because I'll have to test out all the covers. But it'll be Diplex Heat, it'll be playing the main battle for it. I don't want to kind of, do you know what I mean? I don't want to ruin it for everyone. Because if everyone sees it here, which I know there's thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people that will watch it on Diplex's channel. Oh, we have a subscribe. 
I don't know why it duplicates the sound. Again, I'll have to look at that. But let's check out who subscribed. Laurend, thank you for subscribing. Shout out to Laurend, everyone. What else do we have? So we we need more paper. Definitely need more paper. Just gonna throw it outside of the built of like the windows and stuff. Really kill it, especially if there's a fire as well, because the wind would just be blowing the the insides out. It's a bit of like an office building, isn't it? Or a f block of flats, apartment. But it'll be pretty cool to see at the end, because everything is as it was when it was clean. But it's a great, it's a good change. So it'd be nice to take a picture from the, this exact angle, right now, like a screenshot from now, and then I could take another screenshot from the exact same angle when it was like when it wasn't destroyed. I think if you put the two together, it'd be a really nice spot the difference. Alright, let's have a look. Are you going to do a bat oh, okay, I've already read that one. Put a convoy in it so it looks like reinforcements are driving to the front. That's a good idea. We can have a nice little convoy. But I don't I kinda don't want to block the roads up too much as Diplex will be scripting a full mission on here. Like a full battle. So I need to leave some of the roads. I don't need to move the cars forward slightly though because they would have moved since the previous but they wouldn't have got far because they would have started evacuating oh something bad's happened in the middle there that's scary actually I'm pretty sure has anyone else ever had this problem this is actually a really good thing to stream I'm not going to select that just yet until the stream's over but sometimes everything seems to swarm to the middle especially when you've got a lot of detail on a map so I'm not going to select that just yet as it can make it glitch. I will leave that for now. But what I'll do is I will delete that and I don't know how to get rid of that. It'll be in the files itself. But for some reason, whatever you delete from a building itself, like such as these, it always tends to send them into the middle of the map. I don't know why. But if I selected that now, it'll probably glitch the game. So I'm not going to. We're just going to continue to smash it up just a tiny bit more. So it's always fun to smash things up, isn't it? I don't know why. But yeah, if anyone ever has that problem, or oh, never touch it, never touch it until you're ready to touch it. Make sure you save your game before you touch it. Add a group of gangsters. Um, what what it is is in Men of War, guys. You get two modes. You get F2 mode, and you get an F3 mode. I'm just going to be sticking purely to the F2 mode on this. And the F2 mode is purely creating the buildings, creating the te the textures. Um, well, not not creating the textures, but adding the textures adding the elevation and all stuff like that. You do everything like that in F2 mode and then you leave everything else in F3 mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to delete any more of the sides of these buildings because for some reason it seems to be glitching them into the centre of the map. But yeah, do ignore them. I will be getting rid of them eventually. I just don't dare to touch them at this precise moment. Yeah, look at that. How horrible do they look? I will move them later. Right, add some jets and a ghost alien. What's that? A ghost alien team. Uh, jets. I don't think jets were. Were they invented during 1944? I don't think they had. I think the. I think the primary. The, the primary uh, aeroplane for the Americans was the P-51 Mustang. I think at the time. It was late war. I think. Or is that post 19? I think that might have been 1945 actually. But I know jets were more used in the Vietnam War. Right, so what we're going to do now? What shall we add? We need to add more fire, I think. Definitely need to do something with this building. Maybe turn that into just a giant rubble area as well. Should we take this whole building out, guys, or should we leave it? I think we should take it out. Let's take it out and just add a massive rubble pile. Or do some bits sticking out and stuff. Like this is a huge building, now gone. Let's move this convoy forward just slightly. This is going to bury pretty much all of this area if it was to get destroyed. So look, it actually looked pretty cool. So we're just going to elevate the areas around it. Anything like that, just delete. No big deal, because they get buried anyway. Something like that, I think that's about enough. 
yeah that's about enough right now we're going to take let's just delete this sort of delete the wire because that would be gone as well we'll keep some of it because it's going to stick out the edge but what we'll do is we'll take it actually and we'll not that one Why is the wire still there? That's quite confusing. That's very strange. Never mind. That'll disappear when I reload the map, surely. Because it's not actually there. So I'm just gonna let's just spam the not that up to 200, so it goes over everything. I have a lot of rubbish here. Rubbish rubble, should I say? Really put it everywhere, make it look messy. I love it as well because Men of War sorts of one didn't have any bump mapping at all on the rubble. I prefer it with the uh, rubble. Add an army base. An army base is going to be added on a different map actually. It's going to be the next map I add an army base. Well, we need to get rid of this, these bushes. I think what we'll do is we'll keep a couple of the bushes intact, shrink them into the ground back where they were, and we'll make a couple of others. Uh, like burned. I'll make one of them burned as well. Move that into the ground. Cover this in cobble. So I'd say that's about the right amount of uh, thingy for a building that size. I'd say it would have collapsed, wouldn't it? It would have came down, so it would have came floor by floor by floor would have created a lot of dust but as of the mound itself I think it'll all be buried underneath here so what I'm going to do is now to give it that sort of building effect there's a really cool thing there's a really cool trick to it and you can go into bridge and you've got to look for is it bridge river I'm pretty sure it is no not bridge river it's a B rail bridge yeah this is the one and you get these crushed things and they're also land patched and they look really cool so you can just stick bits out of the edge really makes it like there's a building that used to be there So we're just going to stick, th just point these all out. Oh, we'll take another one. Take that one there. And we're just going to build that one up like that. Maybe add another bit there. Bit coming out like that. So that'd be a for that to happen, that'd be a terrible disaster. You got to think of all the people that would have like perished in that building. There would have been a lot of people that would have died. So. The stamps underneath there. Let's just check the comments quick. Uh, some destroyed boats, as in troop transports. Uh, we could do. Maybe some. I don't think the Americans would have any sort of. They might scramble a nearby uh, coast guard, maybe. So we may, could maybe do that. They won't have transport ships, I don't think, though. Definitely maybe have a coast guard, though, defending. Or maybe we could even move an American fleet. I, I don't know what Diplex is going to do with the map. Maybe he could do a. We could do a Japanese fleet against a, against like a US fleet, like protecting it, and then the Japanese could win. Then land transports on the beach, and but then again, they'd have a lot more time to build defences, wouldn't they? If that was the case, we do need some more sandbags though. Definitely gonna. What we're gonna do is instead of putting them as a convoy, we're gonna surround this building here. With medics, because I don't think we have any. Uh, we don't have any sort of uh, what they're called uh, ambulances, do we? Apart from the modern-looking ones. So oh, let's copy that. We're gonna just take that. We're gonna bend it like the rubble's kind of push it. Ignore these wires, by the way. They'll be gone. When we reload them out, they'll be gone. I'm really hoping we don't get a glitch, because for some reason. I think there's happened, and I don't know why. But if that's me, if that's glitched my my map, I don't think me or Diplex is not going to be very happy. Just think of all the hard work wasted. But everything seems to be running okay. Touch wood. There we go. I'm going to just overlap them now. Now what we're going to do is add a few more of these BRB crushed. Don't want that. That's a road, bridge. Maybe add that on the next map do that going across there. There's a bit of a in fact no we'll cut that going up there. 
Oh, that's still thingy, isn't it? Oh, maybe you can delete them. Okay. So what we'll do is I'll just delete all that for now. Oh, that's much better. So much better. Oh, it scared me a bit there. I thought it was like going to be there permanently. Or at least I thought it was going to disappear if I reloaded the map. Right, so we're going to add some more. More of these. Can't get enough of these. These are really cool for roads as well. Like I say, I was going to use these earlier. And you could like stick them coming at the edge of the road like that. Which looks pretty cool. And it, actually, I can have one there. And you can take some of it as well. I will have one there actually because the road does transition there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the constraint to none. And I'm going to take off update entities that way. If you look now, nothing should land patch over it. Nothing should update. If we move that to the edge, tilt it up just a tiny bit. There we go. Looks like the road's been taken out then. Really nice looking explosion. So we'll read the comments. Is is this setting on of the map an hour after the bombing or destruction or like ten minutes? Well, I'd say more like an hour. Definitely like an hour. I'd say I'd say between half an hour to an hour. Because it'd be a slight bombardment or a heavy bombardment from the Japanese fleet, and then it'd be the troop transports coming in to to land on the ground. You've got to also remember there's going to be a lot of they'd send a lot of airplanes over because the the Japanese are well known for their aircraft carriers as well, aren't they? So the, they'll be sure to deploy an aircraft carrier. So you probably have a lot of Japanese zeros flying over. So what we could do is actually we could add a few of them. We could add a couple of American uh, anti-aircraft guns. That'd be pretty cool. Like deployed ones. Don't add too much. Mind you, I think Diplex will be he'll probably be happy to add all the anti-aircraft. Look really nice. Nice, Dan. Looking at this masterpiece makes me want to learn how to map. Yeah, I'm encouraging as many mappers as we can. It'd be nice because I, I really, really love Men of War. But one thing no one can get enough of is the maps. So the more mappers we have, the merrier. I find. It's kind of why I open my Discord. So I, that's kind of what I want to do. I want to teach everyone how to make better maps and. I want to give a good shout out to uh, Grumpy Kitten Ace as well. That's his uh, name on YouTube, I think. Also, a very good mapper, so. Very talented. Keep sending me some pictures. Weapon boxes, good idea. Very good idea. One thing that it w they would be rushing to the front would be ammo. Ammo and medical supplies. save it just in case we get a glitch like I say if the game glitches don't it, the screen will go black but you'll still hear my voice not that it's going to glitch I'm gonna try my best for it not to but I will just load the game back up and whatever we we'll definitely need some fire before we, yeah we'll definitely add some ammo crates and stuff good idea who, who said the idea Jamie Hesselden great idea man but yeah with something we need a lot of something a lot of people don't think about I'd say the only one that really goes into detail that I know of of the interiors as well as they do, and that's probably Zap Pack. He's really good for his ammo boxes and his, you know, his forward command posts, and he makes really cool maps like that. Then we've got Mythic Game Productions. He's really good at his Star Wars interiors. Really good at that sort of stuff, like making the insides of ships. And so you have to check out some of his maps. We've got Evex, also a very talented mapper. I'm pretty sure he's contract by, contracted by Diplex as well at the minute make some maps. Like I said we've got Grumpy Kitten Ace, he's a really good mapper, very very good mapper in fact from what I've seen of his work. I think we have a few others as well don't we? We've got Pershing, he's a very good mapper. In 1944 UN didn't exist all that much. I have kids seven. Yeah the I don't think the UN they wouldn't be active. It'd definitely be the US National Guard. Definitely. They'd be just rushing them to the front, but like I say, it's all that's all going to happen in F3 mode, in a good cinematic. But you guys are kind of lucky, actually. You guys are the, probably the first out of maybe a hundred thousand people to see this map in action. So this this should do pretty well on Diplex's channel, especially if it's a series as well. And it's going to be one of those maps where you can just use it over and over again. 
because maybe you know maybe the Japanese will push forward you know take all the ground and then eventually who knows at the end of the series the Americans could push back and push them back to the sea so that's why maps like this are really good and that's why it's good to make a pristine version as well because maybe we could add a bit of background story to it before it actually happens maybe have some Japanese spies or maybe a, a government assassination of a convoy that'd be pretty cool having the um, I don't know the Japanese foreign minister from the uh, Japanese embassy in America maybe he could be convoying down and an explosion goes off kills him something like that maybe add a bit of background to it like something to do with maybe the CIA if they were around back then I don't know if they were around back then though but that's what I mean There's a maps like this that can be used for all sorts of things I added like an angel here as well by the way guys because I don't know if anybody knows but Los Angeles I'm, I'm pretty sure that means in Spanish city of angels so I figured, I figured a good good way to signify that this is like a Los Angeles sort of build um, is just to deploy like an angel statue look quite nice as well it's quite tranquil might add a couple of benches around some phone boxes right nearby but yeah right near the front line as you can see these are all really happy over here apart from that stupid building that's in the way I'll delete that soon I'll probably delete it after the stream though just in case it glitches the game and if it does glitch the game I'll have to go into the game files and delete it manually Four. scares me when it does that I remember I, I used to make uh, I used to make these really huge maps on Men of War Assault Squad 1 but the maps were that huge and detailed that I never had the memory to deal with it and it always used to do what it does there and it used to send every bit of the buildings into the center of the map and then if I tried selecting them it just glitched the game so I'm definitely going to have to sort that out but that's Men of War for you hopefully it does if it doesn't I'm going to cry like a little girl because th this map has took me well I think this is probably the longest map I've, I've done in ages and that's not through not it's not because I'm a slow mapper that's because it's the first time I've ever made a map like this this is this is the first time I've ever made LA I've not looked at any pictures really I think I've watched one little documentary of how LA looked in the 1940s which was like five minutes long on YouTube and then I just took the knowledge from that from what I saw I just kind of put it all together and I created this so because it's the first time making it I just tend to like be really slow and I don't think Diplex is too happy about it at the minute because well I'm not saying he's too unhappy about it but I'm he's definitely not going to be as happy as what I usually be because I usually make them daily you see and I, I feel like I'm kind of letting him down at the minute by making them a lot slower but I'll tell you something I'm putting a lot more effort into them and I think rather than quantity I feel like quality is better so it's really nice that I can actually put a lot of time into one map because usually just pumping them out daily I miss a lot of detail and it's nice to add a bit of a story to it as well let's have a look at the comments where do you find the seashell stamp? you want to go into serve, no landscape you want to go into stamp and you want to go into uh, new uh, it should be in there somewhere beach traps I think it's called so do you need a really good computer to run a minute for? Um, good question to be honest it depends for a map like this I'd say you need you need a fairly cool average computer above average computer because it's a lot to process you probably need a lot more memory good, G good graphics card that's if you want to play good battles but if you've got a lower end computer and all that you got to do is what I used to do is when I had a lower end computer I used to press F6 I used to go over to a sky I'd make a new sky like so like Norway and what you'd, what I'd do is I'd just turn up in fact let's do one that's, let's do funny I used to go into a sky right here and if I got if I got serious lag issues so what not many people know is if you go down to fog if we can find it haze if you go down to haze turn off the end from 2000 right and put it at zero then up the thingy to 2000 maybe oh maybe that's not working what's going on here so look here's me telling you how to do it and I can't really do it myself what we want two th there we go that's what we want you want to turn the start off and t you want to just fiddle with the end then 
maybe have it at 500 and what it does is it keep, creates this really foggy environment but even though it's really foggy I think it looks very cinematic like you can focus on one area more and the lag completely disappears look at that if you turn the fog up you can't you can't see anything but you just focus on one area and it doesn't matter how crap your computer is you can just run it maybe with a you still get some lag maybe but you won't get as much oh got some flying uh, crates there we'll move them in front of the thing like this, like this stack them up but yeah let's go back to another sky I'm lucky because my computer I've just upgraded I can I don't have to have such a foggy sky to run it let's have a look at the other comments taxis we kind of do need some taxis don't we I don't think we have any though that's the only thing I would place them already if we had any but we don't have any text like textures for them Alex you're a slow mapper lot uh, practice makes perfect dude and like you say if you're a slow mapper I bet you I bet you put a lot of effort into them in fact I've seen your maps your maps are really good you can just tell you put a lot of effort, effort into it you gotta have a lot of passion for mapping and that's what I really appreciate about the other mappers I, I, I know mappers now like I always used to think I was alone like I've got like this really weird personality whilst all my friends would be out I don't know, drinking, smoking, you know, doing all the stuff that other teenage kids would do, right? I wasn't. I was one of these kids that'd sit in and I'd just like to create things. I'd rather be at like paper mache or anything, anything really. Sitting upstairs with like stacking up the videos, you know what I mean? Stacking up videos and making towers with videos, making castles, you know, doing projects like collecting things as well, like the old toy soldiers and stuff. But then I kind of lost my imagination for that sort of thing. And then that's when I found Men of War. And it's just like, it was the perfect engine. You can just do anything with it. And then I learned how to mod it. And then I learned how to create maps. And I think, before I, I used to just do it like in all in F2 mode. So like I like, say, so you get F2 mode and that's for buildings, elevation, textures, all stuff like that. But I ruined literally every Men of War map in the game. You couldn't, you couldn't play the missions anymore because I just spammed soldiers everywhere. But then I figured out how to do the F3 mode, and then I watched one, two, three stealth bombers videos, and I just got better and better and better. And to, it's the most addicting thing I've ever done mapping. And it's not everybody's cup of tea. But now I've made the Discord, I'm meeting other mappers, and I'm meeting other people that have the same passions as me, and I really, really like it. So that's how you do fog. Yeah, that's how you do fog. Is Ultimod downloadable, or is it a comp is it some weird compilation of weird mods? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, the Ultimod, it's like, like I say, it's, it's a combination at the minute of three, three, three to five mods, bits and bobs took out. Hey, welcome, Mickey McKenzie. <laughs> the music fits right with the mighty speech. <laughs> I suppose it does, doesn't it? I, I do fancy myself as a bit of a motivational speaker sometimes. You got it, though, haven't you? You've got to kick people up the arse these days. There's a lot of depression about. So it's good to help people. I'll, I've noticed something like we've, we've completely destroyed this area. But this area is like nothing's happened. So let's, let's destroy it a little bit. But yeah, like I said, I'm really passionate about this sort of thing. Really passionate. And it's just awesome that now I can work on a YouTube channel, I get to work with Diplex. I've met like loads of people. I, I must know hundreds of people now uh, to do with the Men of War community. I had no idea the community was so big. I mean, it must consist. I mean, it's small compared to other games, but the community is like. I, I'd say it's got to be at least a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand people. And I, I noticed there's not many. Of the, there's not many mappers out there, if you know what I mean. So I thought, why not make a mapping channel? It's not really been done before. There's people that do tutorials, but there's nobody that has true passion for like creating stuff, writing stories and stuff like that. So I thought, you know, I'll do it. And I think there's room for others as well, like Zap Pack. He's he's very passionate about it. Avex, you're very passionate about your mapping. So the more mappers, the merrier. We're gonna throw some sandbags in front of this. Like I say, we're gonna move these here. In fact, we're going to take some more of them actually. Get rid of 
that. And we're going to board this road off right here. I think. Right there, yeah. And we're also going to take some sandbags as well. Where are the sandbags? Why is the music? Oh, there was an ad. Well, this would be a good way to test if uh, Lucas King is uh, monetizable anyway. Because if YouTube say I can't monetize this video, then at least we know then. What, oh, they're backwards? I don't want them backwards. I want them forwards. Imagine us all doing a map together if just the game had a multiplayer. That would be amazing. I said it before in the last stream. That would be, that literally, I think, I, I won't come off it. A bit like Minecraft, how, do you know how they build their servers? That would be really cool. I know there, there's another game coming out very similar to this in a minute, done by uh, Sullen Man, is his uh, username. He's the um, owner of the Dark Sentira mod. And he's making a game called Black Sails at the minute. And I know that's going to be very similar to Men of War, but compatible with a melee system. Based on pirates, I think. Right, so up there we're going to take some more police cars and we're just going to... We'll add another police car there. Another one just there. Add another one there. Add another one there as well. So which mod is Ultimize, Ultimod comprised of? I can't find with the Google search. Ah, well Ultimod, it's, it's not a thing yet really. It's what I named it. I named it myself. Uh, just a few days ago and it consists of the Lost Paradise mod which is these buildings which is a gangster mod in itself which you pretty much get everything out of then I've took the trees from Born in the Fire America mod and so uh, all the flora I've also combined Assault Contact 2 for some of their props because they have some really cool like vehicles and stuff as you can see I've combined I'm going to be combining the Rising Sun mod for the boats there is an old mod out there called the Gangster Mod, which you get these cars from, and a few skins. I've combined Grand Theft Auto San Andreas skins, they're all in this game now. Also some really kick-ass skins from the Lost Paradise mod, they're in this game. Uh, what else do we have? All sorts really, we just have all sorts. But I'm really, I really want to get the tanks and the boats out of the, red, the Rising Sun mod, they, they look really cool. Oh, see you later, Braden Green. Thank you for tuning in. Should we see if we've hit our goal yet? Would be nice if we have. Right, I don't know if it says it on yours, but mine is currently at 1,455 subscribers. I don't know if it's updated your end yet. But like I say, if you do subscribe, you do get a shout out, and your name will pop up on the screen. Oh, would you look at that? The comments do show up in the bottom left corner. Has that been happening throughout the whole video, guys? You have to let me know because I had no idea that was happening. Hey, it went 1455, so it's updated then. That's pretty cool. Like I say, if you, if you haven't subscribed yet, do drop a sub. Your name will show up on the screen. And it will really help me out a lot. Also, turn your notifications on as well. So, a lot of people like they, they keep asking me when I'm streaming. If you turn your notifications on, you'll get a notification straight away when I get my stream up. And I'll also post it on my Discord as well if anyone's part of my Discord. All we're gonna do is gonna make this cobblestone just a tiny bit bigger on here, just so we can fill out the area a bit quicker. But yeah, I hope I'm, I hope I've motivated a lot of people to start mapping. I mean, it's a great game, and I think. I think uh, best way in digital mindset, I think they're just going to keep bringing these games out. Like for now, we've got the Gem 2 engine. I, I know absolutely everything about this engine now, pretty much. There's probably just a handful of things that I haven't learned yet, like in, to do with like the mission making and stuff. But everything else I've pretty much nailed. So if the Gem 3 engine comes out, you know, we're going to know how to use it. The Gates of Hell, when that comes out, same engine, we're going to know how to use it. There's so many more generations of these games coming out, so it's never going to die. Which I really like. Oh, there's another piece of wire there, is it? Is it floating? No, it's not floating. So I think that's why, get into mapping now. You know, start your own little YouTube channel up. Show off your maps. 
If not YouTube, go on to ModDB, get, get your maps uploaded. Go and get them shown off. Get on my Discord channel, advertise your stuff. Oh, that's another good thing as well, guys. I've got 101 people in my Discord channel now. I started it one week ago. Well, one... Is it one week ago, Mythic? I'm not sure. Something like that. About a week ago I started the chat, the uh, Discord chat, and... Uh, we've got over 100 people in there now, so I'm pretty proud of that. Getting our own little community. And if you get any glitches or anything like that, or any problems with mods, just uh, come along into the Discord, post, put a screenshot of your problem, and there's a hundred other people in there to help you out if they're online. I also give out appropriate tags as well. If you're a mapper, if you're a modder, mission maker. But other than that, if you just join, you become a member of the Mighty Family. The Mighty Fam. Welcome, Troy Ram Ramzani. I have to start mapping more. My creations are piles of corpses. <laughs> and practice makes perfect, dude. This is looking pretty cool so far. Really giving that ambient feel. I think me making destroyed things is actually more satisfying than making the, you know, the alive things. I'm going to delete that there. Lovely. Get rid of that path. I think because we've got a crater there, I think we're going to steal. Should we steal that one there? Or are we going to overlap it? Delete that. Get rid of that. I'll oh, keep the hedge there actually. I think that sand's just built up just a tiny bit too much there, so we're going to lower that down. Order, maybe 50, maybe that should do it. So it looks like there's another one there and another one there. Sink it into the ground just a tad. There we go, starting to look quite pretty now, isn't it? Nice and pretty. You can see where that building just used to be. Like I say, it'd be really cool to do a different, like a spot the difference. You'll see that that building used to be there. Then I can just like warp. I could fade the picture out and show you what it becomes. And I think that gives a really different style to mapping, like a whole new fashion to it. <laughs> Dad said hello. Say hello back. Could you eventually put this mod on? mod compilation on Steam Workshop. I could, yeah I could. But the one thing I'd have to do is I'd have to I'd have to ask the permission of all the other mod makers first. And I, to be honest I doubt I would get the permission. So I think it might have to be a private download thing only. So instead of like declaring it to the public, people have to ask me for it. But I'd have to credit all the modders for it. So we'll see. We'll see at a later date. David Rimmer add some dead people. Right, um, we're not going to have any dead people yet, because like I say, uh, we have dead people in F, we're in F2 mode at the minute, and use F2 mode to make the elevation, make the buildings, you know, make, put the roads down, e every, everything to do with the map is done in F2 mode, and then finally when I pass the map over to Diplex, when he makes the mission for it, that's when we have the dead people, otherwise the mission, the map will just glitch otherwise, because if, if I send it him and he hasn't got the same skins, they'll just turn into these little blue blanky things. So I'm going to try and avoid putting people down if I can. Stick to the props only. But this is starting to look pretty cool. Does anybody else think, right, yeah, do you think a nice uh, zombie apocalypse will look quite nice on this map? What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the grass on there. Damn, you got to love this music. Well, I think that's that's some difference right there, isn't it? I think we're just going to add some more craters over here for now. And as soon as we've added a few more craters over here, then we're going to start damaging the docks a lot more. So maybe... We have another 
subscriber. Your name will pop up in a, in a moment. Brino Lee, 12, thank you for subscribing. Shout out to Brino Lee, 12. Did I say that right? Yep, I did say that right, I think. You have to let me know if I didn't, and I'll say it right. Alright, I'm going to swing that into the ground. And there we have it, we have another crater. And like I say, because it's on a main road, there would be plumbing going under the road. So we need to go and steal some more of these pipes. That we can find. God, it's such a mess now, isn't it? This, it's such a beautiful sort of like paradise. And now look at it. You've just got like, the American flag, like just like lying there on the floor. Quite sad, really. There's an old kiosk. Oh, you, you wait until you see um, some of the Red Rising maps that I'm going to make as well. Which are the modern. I'm going to work on some Fallout maps and some um, The Last of Us. Which are the sort of grass growing out of the ground. With the traffic jams. and Oh, it's going to be really cool. Kind of making a map like that already. There we go. So, we'll take... Yeah, like I say, I'm going to be making a series of my own soon as well, if you all look for it. I'm going to be making a series, it's going to be called Bloodlines, the series is, and I've already nearly got one episode of it ready, Just gonna, I'm just waiting for the right time to upload it. And in Bloodlines I'm going to be focusing on one, one Bloodline of family, and it's going to go all the way from the American Revolution, following all the way up to post-apocalyptic versus aliens, that sort of thing. Zombies will look really cool on this map, I do agree. I'll tell you another good transition. You see that American flag? Could you just imagine, like, let's go into cinematic mode. That American flag right there. In fact, I'm going to get a screenshot of that because that's freaking beautiful. There we go. Right, could you imagine that American flag? Could you imagine that it fading? Just fading, right, yeah? And then the American flag becomes a Japanese flag. That would look really cool. And I have got a good transition. Say like we do a like a post series, like a, a prequel or a sequel. It'll be a sequel, I think, when it. Whether Jap if the Japanese do, I'm not saying they are going to, but if they do end up taking over the American mainland, it'll be a lot like the series of um, I don't know if anyone's watched it, The Man in the High Castle. So it'll be a lot similar to that series. So that means you'll have a lot of Japanese patrolling the streets. You'll have a lot of underground movements, like rebels and stuff. We've still got this road to do yet. We'll work on that after. In fact, I'll probably just... What we'll do is we'll stick to these first two roads tonight. And then I'll try and sort this building out in the middle. I don't dare to touch it yet. Uh, then as soon as I've sorted that out, we will think about doing the second part, maybe in another live stream. That's if you're not getting sick of the live streams already. Because I think this is like... Is this the part four, is it? But it's, it's every, every um, episode is completely different anyway. So... I just hope you're all enjoying it getting some tips for mapping and just watching the my creations come to life. Right, let's just check the comments. Apocalypse is a good idea. Yeah, I, I think I agree. Bruno, that's good. Hey, yeah, thank you. See, I got it right. Avex1457. Oh, okay, you counting my subs for me. Thank you, man. Yeah, like I say, my goal is uh, 1,500 subs. Uh, I'm not hoping it for the, by the end of this live stream, you know, it would be a miracle if I do. But maybe in the next, uh, before the end of the month, I'm hoping for 1450. Maybe, maybe um, not, not 1450, um, 1500, so I say. I'm hoping for 1500 subs by the end of the month, if I can. And then my next goal is 2000, and then 2500, and so on and so forth. And as soon as I get to 1500 subs, I will be uploading another map to a workshop for everyone to play. I don't know if anyone's played the one that's on there already, but if you haven't already, I've uploaded... I don't know if anyone's seen it on Diplex's channel, but do you remember the Enemy at the Gates map that I made? Of them crossing the Volga, and then they move up the... they move up the ground and hit the red square and charge the machine guns. Yeah, I've uploaded that one. So if anyone wants to download that, just go onto workshop and search my name, and you should find it. <laughs> you love Man of the High Castle. 
To be honest, I only watched, um, I watched up until the episode where there was going to, I don't want to ruin it for anyone actually, so I'm not going to say, but it was, it was like, there was an assassination, that's all I'm going to say. That's the episode I got to. But yeah, this is looking pretty, pretty nice, to be honest. I was a bit lost for words then. So let's get out of cinematic mode. Let's go back to some mapping. I'm going to save it quick. I think I've got three people watching me as well, like live on Steam, believe it or not. I'm pretty sure I'm offline as well. I'm offline, I've still got three people watching me. That's insane. So not on a, not only am I live streaming like on the on the uh, YouTube, I'm also live streaming on Steam for some reason. I thought it automatically turned it off. And as you can see, these bricks are a bit red here, aren't they? So what we're going to do is we're going to turn them red. Add a bit more of a variant to them. Get them a little bit bigger. I'm going to try and have to. F I'm going to have to try and find a way to make these sides of the buildings look a bit. Just gonna skip that song because that uh, that song I think it sounded very similar, very very similar to uh, the actual tune of Monsters Inc. I don't, I don't know why. Just trying my best not to get a copyright claim. As you know, if it's monetized, it helps me out a lot. But it's not no no big deal anyway. If it doesn't get monetized, no big deal. Some bricks around here. <laughs> Los Angeles is always in ruins. Maybe some parts. I think I've always wanted to go to LA. I'm kind of hoping, right? I'm kind of hoping if it, that um, uh, Diplex he tends to go away once a year, doesn't he, to um, E3, and he likes to travel to Los Angeles. And I'm thinking maybe next year if I'm still working with him, I'm hoping that he'll take me along. So, I've already asked him, he said maybe a yes, but it'd be nice if I do because I've always wanted to go to LA. What we're going to do is we're going to mix some other bricks in there as well because just having that one kind of brick kind of looks a bit odd. So, we mix that brick in as well and it kind of gives it a bit of a bit of variation. Yeah, the map's really starting to come to life now, isn't it? If you go back, I, I don't know if anyone's... Who's been here since the first ever live stream? You can remember how it looked at first, can't you? You can just see the transform transformation that we've like... Or how far we've come. We've come a long way so far. A week of work. Lots of YouTubers live there. <laughs> I'd like to live there one day. That'd be nice. I've always wanted to go to America. Uh, I live in England, you see, and uh, it gets a bit. You get a bit claustrophobic in England, especially when you live in such a small town. So I kind of, I want to, I want to earn a bit of money. I want to travel. We're going to move this bin. Uh, in fact, we'll vaporize the bin. Was it? I don't think it was a bin actually. I think it was one of those magazine things. We're going to knock this tree down. Boom. Turn it to burned. There we go. And now we're going to add. We're going to delete that as well. Or maybe not. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. We can. We'll knock that. Maybe that direction. Put that just there. Now we can see. Just have to pause that. Turn that right down. Because that is a copyrighted song. There we go. Now we can press it. Awesome. Gotta be so careful with the copyright these days. 
Check the comments. Add some resistance fighters. Like I said, that's going to be for the F3 mode. Um, if you want to see, if anyone wants to see a battle on it, you can either wait until the end of this stream, which will probably be in about another half an hour. And what I'll do is I'll do a bit of a tester to see how it runs with some men running up the beach and some fighting going on. Just a quick five ten minutes thing. If, but if you really want to see a really good battle on it, you've got to wait. Just wait until Diplex uploads his uh, his version of it. So you'll see it on his channel. And you will see it on my channel eventually. Just not yet. Maybe in the future. So think think of all the maps that I've made. I must have think I've made about... It's supposed to be getting on 30 maps for Diplex now. So that's 30 maps that I can use for my own YouTube channel as well. Just change the story for it. But yeah, I've made quite a few maps lately. And this map is going to be a variation of two maps. So this is two in one. Best of both worlds. This is Hovis. This is Hovis best of both. Don't blame me. You always wanted to visit Europe. <laughs> I've always wanted... I think I might be going to Amsterdam soon. I've always wanted to go to Amsterdam as well. I might be going there soon. Just got to save up my pennies. So who hasn't joined the Discord yet, then yet? Is everybody in this uh, chat? Is everybody in the Discord channel? Just put I'm in the Discord if uh, if you are, just so I remember, because it's like a it's like a 20 second delay I think. So sometimes when people just go yes and no, I completely forget what I'm talking about. But yeah, if you're not already in the Discord, be sure to join up. Really friendly community. We just have to help each other and share each other stuff. Also, it's good if you're a YouTuber or a live streamer. You can advertise in there and people see it. Make announcements. Um, create mods. Download mods. We do everything in there, don't we, really? Or just you can come and speak to me directly and we can have a chat. and Everyone can get to know each other a little bit better. everywhere and then that kind of opens up into this area then which I think we do have an alleyway just there for soldiers to get through so it's a nice little cut through one of the buildings on fire we've got a nice cover of the tree there we've got the, the police roadblock pretty cool hey let's play welcome to the stream man we're, the, we're destroying California. We built it and now we're destroying it. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. Your name will pop up on the screen. And if it doesn't, just say that you have subscribed and nothing happened and then I'll make it pop up on the screen. I'm racing towards a goal of 1500 subs in the next 9 days. Can I do it? Do you think I can do it? It's Sound really cringy. Do you think I could do it, dudes? Again, another ad with copyrighted music on it. Sorted. Back to it. I don't know why I just copied that umbrella because we don't really need one. So what we're going to do today, what we're going to do tonight then, we're just going to finish off the bombardment of the main front and then we're going to bombard the docks a little bit more, add some defences and then we're going to call it on the stream. So an probably another half an hour, 45 minutes. So I don't kill anybody's ears did I? Turn it down just very slightly. Oh, you, you just subbed. It should pop up in a minute. If it doesn't, I'll double check. And then if not, I'll just shout you out. Just double check. I 
have some more sandbags blocking this side of the road. And one thing that we're missing here, what do we need? We need an army truck. We will place down some army trucks. We need a car and we need... Uh, not a Ford. You watch me glitch this game now. We don't know a Blitz, we need a GMC. I love this one here. Looks really nice. And the GMC is these gonna can be these will contain sandbags. So that makes a bit of sense. The army's like rolled up. This can be the uh National Guard. We could mix it up a tiny bit. And add maybe Oh not that one. What is what's going on with that one? You see that? Something's going terribly wrong with that truck. Wow. Some of these are missing all the textures. Very strange. But we maybe just won't use those ones. But yeah, these trucks will do anyway. They look cool. We maybe have a another one over here. In fact, no, it's not over there. We'll have them coming out of the docks, maybe. We'll have a convoy of trucks coming down this road here. That'll look pretty cool. Should we do four, maybe? Four trucks, there we go. That's quite nice from the distance. Frosty Gillet. Were you guys already subs? Or. If you're already subs and you unsubbed and resubbed, it won't show up on the screen. And if not, it will take a, it'll probably take a couple of minutes to come up. Because it says in my recent events at the minute, it says the last person to subscribe to me was Brino Lee 12. But I can refresh that, I suppose. Pretty cool music, really love the music. Again, I don't think I'll be able to monetize this video, but never mind. Right, so what we've got so far then? So the beach is done, I'd say. That's enough bombardment. Obviously more is going to be added to it as the F3 mode will play out. As the mission plays out there will be more explosions going off and stuff. So that's why we don't want to add too much to it. Otherwise it would be too cramped up. Mighty fappers. <laughs> um, and then so we're just going to leave it kind of bland at the minute. There's a lot of craters on there. But that, I'd say that's enough. We'll let the soldiers create their own from there. God, it's just got louder. Down just slight, not there we go. It's a bit better. Like I said, we have a huge building just here. We had, and we've kind of destroyed the whole thing. And that's all that's left now, just a pile of rubble. If we go further down here, we've got vehicles. We've got an old tram line, which used to be on the pristine map. That's uh, that's where it is. But it looks like an explosion, like a direct hit on it or something. Maybe instead of having it like that, maybe we could actually put it how it was. What do you guys think? But yeah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Rather than it being on its side. So then, as the Japanese are invading, you've got five fighters that are trying their best to put out flames. Uh, you've got police evacuating the civilians. Firefighters on their way to places. You've got the National Guard pulling up with sandbags, and you'd have soldiers building the sandbag positions. You're guaranteed you'd have Japanese Zeros coming in with bombs, you'd have kamikazes, you'd have you'd have Americans doing that like enforcing a martial law, trying to keep crowd control as well. Because there'd be so many people just running away for their lives. You're a new sub, that's really strange. Welcome Easy Shifty. Well what I'll do is I'll do a shout out to Frosty Frosted Alligator twenty three. Is a new sub and let's play a new sub. I don't know why it's not showing up. As you can see, guys, it did work. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to be working at the minute. 
Maybe it takes a while. Maybe because I'm. Maybe there's like an order or something. Maybe a queue. Because it says the last person that subscribed to me was a guy called Brino Lee Twelve. That's the last guy that subscribed, and I can replay that lot. So I could just do that. And when I do that lot, his name will pop up on the screen. So I don't know why it's not working. It's really strange. Oh, good night, Moon Man Coco. Alright, how many people do we have watching? Let's have a look. We have 16 people watching. Alright, uh, what time is it? Oh, it's nearly 11 o'clock. Wow, it's getting late. Alright, so what we're going to do is then we're just going to... We're going to bombard this area right here then. Then we're going to do the docks. And then we're going to call it an art in tonight's stream. But we're going to make a look. What we'll do is we'll test out the barricades after we with a few soldiers. Have a quick battle. We'll see if it's all working nicely for Diplex. Uh, any more of this smoke? Maybe set a few more buildings on fire as well. In fact, we'll set these buildings on fire here. I did ask the comments, didn't I? Yeah, I did ask you guys what should I do with these buildings right here. Shall I blow them up or shall I just leave them pristine or. How do you get the fires? I don't know how to on editor. Fires, you go into FX. You want to go. Well, I'll show you. To get fires. Oh, I've just got a message on Facebook. Not good. There we go. Lot starting to look really cool though, right? What else do we have? We have crates. Maybe we're gonna rush some of these crates over here, like they've unloaded them from the truck. Like like somebody said earlier, they'd be stacking up ammo, won't they? Really preparing for this. We have a lot of trucks. You probably have some nearby American airplanes. So there'd be there'd be a dogfight above the city, no, no doubt. Like I say, you'd probably have the U.S. Coast Guard move up in some ships. So you'd have some sailors. You definitely have sailors in the town because of the docks. People trying to escape by boat. There'll be people evacuating all sorts. So yeah, anyway, let's get on with it anyway. So what do we have here? We need some sandbags. We need to deploy some machine guns. Definitely deploy some machine guns inside this building over here. So let's just fill it up. If I can fill it up right. Is that even lamp actually anymore? It's a bit good, isn't it? I've no idea actually. Never mind. It is lamp patched. I think you just have to select a unit to like mount the window or something there. So I can't do that yet because that'll be done in F3 mode. All this work in Diplex will just do a 20 minute video talking about something completely unrelated to the map. <laughs> That is, well, I suppose that's it's kind of true, I guess. But because it's going to be a series, I think he's going to spend a lot more time on this map. But yeah, it will be about 20 minutes long, though. Really? I really hate that building right there. Really annoying me. So what do we need to do now? We've got the construction yard right here. Maybe we could have this as a sort of forward operating base for the Americans. So let's move in a couple of trucks. Take a couple of these trucks here. We'll park them just outside. We'll have a truck pulled up there. Oh, I thought it was going to crash then. A bit of a right, so we'll have some army trucks just here. We've got a small child's park here, look. Which is going to look quite sad, actually. In fact, should we do an explosion? Let's bomb the park. Let us bomb the children. There we go. There's my video unmonetized for bombing children. I'm just going to make a formal apology to YouTube and just say I didn't actually mean that I want to, you know, shoot the children. Just going to say that just in case somebody takes that word out of context then. <laughs> right, so because that's ground, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these, these big explosions, and as they, is, they are sand at the minute, which we can add, we'll add a couple in there actually. We'll add one there. Another one there as well. Remind me to do them. And we're going to take this one here, make a huge explosion, 
and we're going to go to the colours and we're going to match that colour to the ground so we're just going to dark it off slightly and there we go so now we're going to take this seesaw just bend it or something bend it that way we'll take the slide and we'll completely knock the slide over and same with this we're going to proper knock it up like that knock that up slight there. There we go. Just gonna bring the edges up a tiny bit. And who was it earlier that said something about an unexploded bomb? I felt that's a bit that's a bit big that isn't it? One thing we do need though is a J J J J J J J J there we go. Just we want destroy and we want burn grass. So we want to take this really dark looking grass here. We want to up up the order to a hundred. I just throw it around it like that. burn the area. Let's play Never Made a Map Is It Hard plus I Don't Know How. <laughs> There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube now. If you binge watch 123 Stealth Farmer for all the basics and then continue to watch my live streams and stuff like that, I'll make some tutorials as well. And best bet is to just join my Discord and ask ask people. If you join my Discord, if anybody wants to get into mapping, join my Discord. Because we've just got so many mappers in there, we've got so many modders, we've got a couple of YouTubers. I don't know if anyone's familiar with uh, Kanoa. He's he's part of my Discord channel. He's not been active yet, mine, but he is part of it. He has joined up, and he said he's going to come in sometime. Um, also, Daily Gaming said he's going to pop in at some point. Uh, Diplex may pop in at some point. Not no guarantee though. Uh, I've also asked Baron von Games. Not had a reply yet, mind. I have spoke to him before, so you never know. He might come in. Imagine if you made 9-11 in Men of War. I mean, it wouldn't be funny. I don't know why I said it, but... It would be a good tribute. I think people would take it very offensive. They would, I think. Did you see the huge arguments that caused with the Trump's wall? If, if you think that caused like problems, could you imagine like if I did 9-11, something like that? Cause I could pull that. Oh. Well, them subscribes, they just came through. I don't know if you heard it. I see you subscribed. Wes... Weslex-ish. <laughs> Did I say it right? I, I don't pronounce it. Weslex-ish. Thank you for subscribing, dude. I don't know why is your show, why yours showed up and like the other two guys didn't. So yeah, it, it, it's been like really awkward today, I don't know why. But thank you for subscribing. Shout out to you, dude. But yeah, like I say, um, I, there's like a huge sort of argument I caused through the Trump's wall. It's because, you, you know, like the editor is really random. Well, we did like a cartel versus American National Guard, and I did the mission for Diplex, and I did the map at his request. And, uh, well, it, in fact, it was my idea, I must admit, it wasn't just him. And because the cartel won, we didn't mean for them to win, but because they won, it caused so many arguments. So, so many. And it caused all the Trump haters like came in, and all the Trump supporters came in, and we're getting threat was getting threatened to be hacked and all sorts. So then we made a sequel of the Americans winning, as they pr pr they would anyway against the cartel. Go play Call of Duty World War Three. They have a New York under invasion by Russia. All oh, right, okay. I think I've played that. Do you mean the official game or do you mean the Call of Duty mod? Yeah, it was said correct and thank Yeah, hey, no problem, man. I'm glad I said it correctly. I, I tend to say them wrong, like, a lot of the time. I'm just going to shrink these into the ground a bit. And I know you can see the edge of the map there, guys, but if you do this lot, F1, I've made it so the fog just, just cut in now. And all angles as well. It should be on... Far, the f yep, so you've got like the horizon of the sea. We have the edges all cut like perfectly. The only bits we need to do now is this like top corner. I'll definitely do them on a later date. 
what I'll have to do is uh, I'll probably have to build them on this map then copy and paste them over to the other map as we now have two versions of the map yeah, I don't know which one Diplex is going to choose I'm kinda hoping Diplex makes a cinematic with the first one that I made the pristine version and then he kind of does the battle or does the battles depending on the storyline because we don't know how the storyline is going to be yet um, I'm kinda hoping he uses this variant for more of the war because it looks more cinematic and more realistic Mighty do White House down map. Ah, uh, I don't know if Diplex is, has Diplex told anybody that we, we are planning on doing a White House. We was thinking about doing that for, well, for quite a while now actually. I suggested it to him uh, maybe three, four weeks ago. And then he asked me to make a sort of Oval Office map, so maybe that's what he wanted. How many vids do I post weekly? Um, it depends really. Uh, some weeks I'll do three, four days a week. Then other weeks, depending on how busy I am, I'll, I won't do any. So I'll probably have a week on, like doing loads of videos, and then probably have a week off where I only do one video. But I've not really, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm still new to YouTube, you see. And like I say, I'm very busy, but if I can do what I'm doing now, live stream whilst I'm creating, I'll be able to make a lot more videos on a lot more regular basis. So that's pretty good. Uh, this is really starting to look lived in now, really starting to look cool. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to set fire to some more buildings, I think. Uh, paste this fire. Delete the building. Don't do this to me. All right. Turn the music off. Press play. Wait for the ad to play out. Skip the ad. There we go. It's just in case you see. Lovely. Lovely cinematic music. Very sad though. It's like really depressing. Dude, some kid at my school got detention and got his hat took. And the parents had to pick it up. He was wearing a Make America Great Again hat. While all my teachers voted Hillary. Oh. Ouch. So the, the teachers like victimized him and went, ah, yeah, you're not wearing that in my class. Alright, so these walls here are destroyable. Whereas these, God, let me turn this music down just slightly, 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 a little bit. There we go. Right. So as you can see, guys, like these white walls here are destroyable in the game. Whereas these pink walls, they're not so destroyable. So tanks aren't going to be able to ride through them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy some of the walls just to make some room for tanks to move through, and vehicles. Burn all that. I don't need that, do we? We've got some room for tanks then. And then to make up for it, what we'll do is we'll copy this. We'll make it smaller. Turn it to a sort of ready colour. And there we go. We've got sort of where the bricks used to be then. It's just a nice passage to get vehicles through. And we'll do the same here again as well. Because you've got to remember, even though the map looks really cool and really cinematic, it's also, it's got to be compatible with Men of War as well. It's alright having a map that looks really nice, but if it doesn't play really nice, then there's no point in having the map at all. I've made a lot of maps in the past which have just been, like, they've looked really nice, but they've been really poo for, like, battles and stuff. A bit like my Autopal map. I don't know if anybody's seen that before. In fact, I don't think I've released it yet, actually. Apart from to uh, Kanoa. He's the only one I've released it to. Can I do the Battle of Berlin? I can. It's just that it's been the Battle of Berlin's been done so many times, so I kind of avoided it so far. But maybe I could make a version myself. It seems to be quite popular, so who knows? We'll see. I've got a lot of plans for the channel anyway. Feeling really optimistic, if that's the right word. I think it is. Yeah, optimistic. Yeah. A cursed map, that'd be pretty cool. I think, again, that's been done. A lot of historical battles have been done. I'm kind of trying to do things a tiny bit different. Let's try and get these maps like... Have you ever seen a map like this before? I don't think anyone's ever made a map like this before. I'm trying to keep my content very, content very original, not just for my own channel, but for Diplex's channel as well. 
there's a lot of people out there that, that really like to stick to the historical missions. And if you think about it, this kind of is historical, but it's very alternate history. It's a what if. So I'm doing it again. I just can't stop looking at the map. <laughs> Especially like if you say that like you've got a completed area like this, you just can't stop looking at it. You just want to. In fact, should we take a slow stroll down there with the cinematic music? Let's do it. Let's just have a look at what we've done so far. We'll start up here. Let's do this. We're just going to move very slowly down here. Let's do that. But we'll turn very slight that way. And we'll go down. Move to slightly to the left. <laughs> Just move a bit over here. There we, there we go. Now we can move forward. Kind of adds a bit of cinematic to it. And that's where I need to alt tab because of the copyright for the ads. They're quite annoying these ads, aren't they? Let's carry on. Let's carry on going down. Starts to look pretty cool. Everyone's got their own style of mapping. Like my brother always says, and my brother's a very good mapper as well, Tom. And uh, he always says that if he ever sees a map online, or on Diplex's channel, or my channel, or anybody else's YouTube channel, right, he always knows it's mine because he knows my style of mapping. I don't know how. I, I class mapping as a sort of art. Everyone has their own style, their own fashion to it. You can't remember, it's coming from, it's, it's like drawing in a way. You're putting it together with your mind. You're thinking of it and then you're creating it. So I think you have, everyone has a very like specific like fashion to their mapping. Yeah, I think it's looking very Very, what's the word? Atmospheric, I think. Not a big fan of these like wooden things with the thing, but they're gonna have to do. I couldn't find anything else really. Not unless I get get another mod up or something. I have to look through all the different mods. So yeah, I think we're gonna call it on that bit there because we don't want too much. You gotta remember the soldiers are gonna do a lot of the damage themselves as well. And then uh, what we'll do is, we can maybe add a bit to the docks. Maybe we'll do the docks another time. But like, that's not the docks, that's more customs. In fact, I forgot, I need to add a building here actually. I completely forgot. But yeah, what, we, what I said I was going to do is we're going to set something on fire, weren't we? We're going to set some more buildings on fire. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Select. Got him. Let's set this building on fire as well then. Set all of them on fire. Don't you find the music really goes with like the environment? But I think these ones aren't cop I think these ones are like uh, non copyrighted, so. No, I think these ones are copyrighted, should I say. So I don't think this, this video is not going to be monetized. Which don't really make a difference at the minute, to be honest. But I'm going to try and stick to. uncopyrighted music in the future. Alright, so we've got another building that's on fire there. Don't know why these. See, that one's not doing it. If anything, we can destroy that tree. In fact, we'll add it to the fire. There we go. It can. It can be burning. We'll add it inside there. Just there. There we go. Let's have a little read of the comments. Oh, the new movie Dunkirk. Wow. 
kind of want to, I wanted to watch that ad then. It looks really good. My great grandpa was a French soldier during World War Two. My dad told me a story of him being left by British soldiers to get captured by Germans because he was useless. He got sent to a concentrate. What? That's really bad. Did that actually happen? Let's have a, let's have a read of the team. Uh, Battle of Paris. Yeah, that'd be a really cool map. In Ingval Lechnis. Did I say that right? Yeah, Battle of Paris would be a good map, but maybe in the modern era, I think. Also, we've got Dunkirk would be a hit on Steam Workshop. Yeah, that would at the minute. Yeah, definitely. So if, if any of you mappers want to make a Dunkirk map, definitely get it uploaded. Perfect timing at the minute with the new film coming out. Uh, my great-grandpa was a German stormtrooper. Oh, nice. It's not... Oh, I need to see it. Not nice. Already have a huge Dunkirk map. Oh yeah, Grumpy Kitten Ace has the maps, definitely. Very good mapper. I play with the editor on Men of War. I made some battles but never understood how to do waypoints for the troops or cars. Uh, that's where you've got to watch uh, 123 Stealth Bomber Let's Play. I'm going to have to make some tutorials on my own soon, so I'll just renew it because he doesn't really upload anymore. So I'm going to start doing some tutorials soon. That dog, that, that that map done by Bill Nye got removed from the work. Why? Why did it get removed? He deleted it. Wow. Okay. How do you do that to the building? How do you do what? You have to specify because there's a bit of a delay. Oh, he escaped. The t oh, that's nice. He escaped and survived. That's good then. He was getting a lot of hate and complaints. What for? Why was he getting complaints? Yeah, like my my, I can tell a story about my. Uh, I think my great granddad. I think was he was uh, part of the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders during World War One, and he was stationed in uh, France uh, d towards the end. I think it was like two weeks before the war ended. I think, and he was shot by a sniper and killed two weeks before World War One ended. So that's kind of unlucky, right? I think it was two weeks. Uh, two weeks or something. I'm pretty sure my, I'm pretty sure my grandma says um, it was two weeks before the war ended. But yeah, that's really unlucky. And I think uh, my great, no, it was my great great granddad that died during World War One. I, I think uh, my great granddad, my nan's dad, he actually, believe it or not, he picked up the soldiers at Dunkirk. Do you know how th they was trying to evacuate all the soldiers at Dunkirk, weren't they? And uh, what it was is they didn't have enough boats, so they were pulling in fishing trawlers. They were pulling in every boat they could find to try and get the soldiers off of the uh, out of the town because the Germans were really advancing on them, weren't they? And my dad, not my dad, my great my great granddad, he was one of the guys that was pulling the guys off of Dunkirk. So that's pretty interesting. And I have no idea what happened to one, two, three stealth bomber. Anyway, let's continue with the map. Uh, what what shall I do inside here? I think we need some sandbags, don't we? Maybe covering this area. I'm trying to make everything make sense, but I'm not sure. Definitely need some cover for the the soldiers, though. area off as well. Can join it to there. I think I've got a nice could I maybe have a, a fifty calibre there maybe? Cutting down the infantry as they're running up the beach. Got another add on. What, what adds that that's uh oh EU battle.net or something, no idea what that is. See I should get paid for ads that I'm advertising but not through like picture, but advertising through sound. That should be just as good. I'm helping them out. We're getting double the ads. Just reading the comments. Right. 
Right, so what we're going to do is now we're just going to finish these docks off. We're going to have a quick simulation of some. Um, in fact, we're not going to use Japs, we'll use Germans. Because I don't want to steal any of Diplex's ideas. Because it is, he's going to be doing the mission. So I'm going to use some Germans, you know. I'll put them against some, uh, maybe some British soldiers, maybe. Or no, if we can use Americans. We'll use some American National Guard and we'll do them against some Germans. Just see how the, the map plays out. Let's hope it doesn't glitch, because if it glitches, I'll just start crying. Like live on air. Right, so for now, you can just imagine all the boats pulled up, by the way. There's no defences or anything. There used to be loads of umbrellas everywhere, but they've just been vaporised. Do we need a seawall, maybe? No, because people can hide in the crates. Right. Save it clip. Let's add some more dock stuff. What do we need in this part of the docks then? We've got explosions going off. They look a lot better when there's troops around. Obviously they've got some ammo here, some torpedoes or something. They are explosive, so... And I'm pretty sure you can shoot the wire and they'll just drop onto the floor, which is pretty cool. Many officers were killed by snipers and artillery. I bet they were. Reminds me a bit of the uh, enemy at the gates. I think, how many officers did Vasily Saitsev kill? Quite a few, I think. Some pipes going through there. We'll have a pipe going through there. It's all going through there. There we go. Bob's your uncle, Dave's your dad, Fan is the aunt you never had. I'm going to move this down just a slight bit. Maybe we, I think we need some rubble and stuff. Add some crumbling rubble. I think like the ground's torn up around it. Right, I was going to do some uh, craters in here, wasn't I? I think if they demonetize this video, I think for having um, copyrighted music, I think I may message the that Lucas King dude because I know he's he is good for replying to his uh, mails, so I'll message him and say that. He did give me permission to use this music. Let's see if he can give me a license or something. Just check out how many people are watching. Let's have a look. 15 people watching. I don't know why it says I'm um, still at 1,444 subs. I will update that. And I'm currently at. 1,460 subs. So 40 more subs to go until I reach my goal. 40 more. I would like to stay online all night. If I stayed online all night, I'd probably reach it by the end of the night, but we're going to be ending the stream very shortly. Got some more like dirt going around. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's test it out. Right, do you realize that I, I've got a new Intel i7 and new gear, so hopefully I won't get as much lag as the other videos. If I do though, it's not my fault. It's just my computer melting. Oh wow, just as I say that, did you see that lag? That's insane. Anyway, let's try a battle. So we're going to add some... Not Lord of the Rings stuff, we don't need that. I'll showcase that on another one. USA, here we go. Home Guard, are these the ones we need? I think these are the ones. They look pretty cool to be honest. We'll have a couple of them. We'll have some riflemen. Ah, oh, they look really cool. Yeah, we'll just copy these. Let's set them up in a position. 
Whoa, that was loud. Sorry if I just popped anybody's eardrums. Yes, sir! I don't know if you can hear that like I can, but it's really loud. Fall in! Definitely gonna have to turn men of war Stand down for me. Two! Just turn that down very slightly. Open volume mixer. There we go. So we'll position that's really good, so we've got cover. We've got Look alive! Cover, covering the whole beach, so. I love the sounds. Rob's e realism really adds the cool effects. You got alienware, that's cool, yeah. Well, there's a game in PC if you if you got alienware. We'll just catch up on the um Just catch up on the comments because I've missed a few. Welcome, Lone Wanderer Potato again. I should add some naval mines. You see, I would add naval mines, but it, because America wasn't expecting the attack, which is in the series, they wouldn't have been prepared for it. Like they completely underestimate the Japanese and their fleet. Like this is this is like the scenario, so they really weren't prepared for like the invasion. So, we're not going to have any mines just yet. Maybe we could add them on another battle though. Maybe if the Americans push them back and they have to invade again. Maybe we could set up some tank barriers and stuff like that. Be pretty cool. So, we're going to take these Army's dudes. finest here! So really loud. Sir! Can you guys hear the sound effects in-game? You have to let me know. Because just because I can hear them doesn't mean that you guys can. I understand that. One. Listen up, people. Yeah, really spread these out. Don't so we're just gonna have a quick battle with these dudes, and then we're gonna just it, the only reason I'm battling is not to the aim is not to entertain Order. from this battle, but to test the cover and to test how they play out. And we're gonna add a couple of Shermans as well. So uh, we'll go and find some Sherman tanks. Tank medium. We want an M1A1, don't we? No, M1A375. Is it this one? That is a weird-looking tank. Oh, I'll have one of them. Why not? Kind of mix it up a bit. It won't be straight like that because how would it get straight? It would have drove down the road and turned the turret. Then again, it would have to turn straight, wouldn't it? For like the. We're just going to take some of the home guard. We'll paste them into the tanks and then we'll copy and paste the tank. Are they too loud? Not my bad dudes. Diplex is gonna have a word with you after this vid, I bet. You're playing this map for technically stealing his content. <laughs> Does everybody agree that I'm stealing Diplex's content right here? Right, so we've got the tanks. Right, this is just going to be a quick test to test the covers. We're going to do them against Germans, not Japanese. So we're going to do them against just some standard riflemen. So some riflemen there, some riflemen there, riflemen there, riflemen there. There we go. We're just going to save that as test underscore covers. There we go. Now we're going to press play. See how it plays out. Just turn it down slightly. Sorry if that was too loud for anyone, but it is turned down now. Looks like it's working quite well. You see the smoke effects, that's what I really like about it. it really adds some depth like to the map. Works really well actually. 
Really well. And I just want to see if the tanks move along the roads. Can we move, like, move the tanks? So he seems to be struggling a bit from the path. Maybe if we move him manually and send him that way. Yeah, he runs fine. See, that's just what I wanted to test out. Can he go through the vehicles as well? So that looks really cool. The Americans seem to be moving on onto the beach. Which, realistically, when Diplex is playing this battle. And, oh, by the way, guys, in the comment, don't, don't mind. I think Grump, Grump is just, um, I think he's just having a bit of a joke. Because uh, what it is, is um, Diplex... Diplex won't mind me testing it out like this because um, look how many views I get. I'll get what maximum a thousand views, two thousand views maximum on a good video. Diplex gets hundreds of thousands of views. So no matter what, you'll still get more views. And I'm again, I'm going against Germans. Nothing scripted. Things are just placed, so it doesn't really make a difference. So. Seems to be working really well though, I think. Now, could you imagine that? Waves and waves of Japanese coming on the beach. Wave after wave. Uh, we could maybe find some battleships, maybe. Get some ships with the guns on. Maybe to keep bombarding the beach. I think they should have range of the whole map. Like I say, we've still got the rest of the map, but I'm going to try and keep the rest of the map a little cleaner. Maybe a, a bit, bit more defended as well for the Americans, because they'll have more time to rush troops and create forward operating bases. But the front is completely destroyed. Oh no, I can't play it on my channel. I just can't... I can't play the whole thing on my channel. Not yet. I can play it, just not at first. But yeah, everything seems to be working just fine. As you can see, look, they are going to create their own little... Uh, creators as well. So the map is just going to fill up, up and up and up. And the tank's gone a bit weird on there. Maybe you have to fix them into some positions. Maybe move off, uh, move at will. But definitely a lot more to do. But I'll probably leave this. I'll probably make this the final live stream of this. Actually, this will probably be the final live stream uh, for the California map. And then next one we're going to move on to the suburban. California. So we're going to be building like, uh, I don't know if anyone's seen San Andreas. If something like that. This is like kind of downtown San Andreas, isn't it? Like a bit of both. Maybe the beach. The tourist. More the tourist area, isn't it? Like Long Beach, California. And then next up, we're going to be going for like sort of suburbs. So maybe a bit of countryside as well, maybe. Let's just read through some of these comments. Calm down, dudes. Right then. Yep. Um, Hypekid7, it's a compilation. Ultimod, what I'm making is a compilation of lots of mods combined. But I'm not going to be able to release it to the public because I haven't got permission off the uh, owners of the mods yet. But if they give me permission, then I will release it. But for now, it's just going to be for me and Diplex. Uh, Grumpy Kitten Ace. Diplex has ownership of the map. Stop complaining about my team not releasing the maps on Workshop. Yeah, that is true. Because I am I am contracted by Diplex to create the maps for his channel, which means that he is giving me a fixed rate for the maps. And what it is is I can show them on my channel, but I can't I can't uh, script a mission as such. It's okay to test covers. It's okay to show the map being built, and and as you know, like my my, I don't get uh, I don't get one tenth the amount of views that Diplex gets on his videos. So either way, it doesn't make a difference at all. Even if I did make a mission on it, it doesn't make a difference. But I see where you're coming from. You have, you have got a point, Grump, Grumpy Kitten Ace. Guys, we are all going to be dead one day. Rip everyone in the chat. That is true also. Hate to put a downer on people. There goes the mood by... Oh, are you off Let's, let's Plays? Uh, shouldn't there be a police in this map? Yeah, there is going to be police in this map, yeah. 
back here we have a police station and obviously the police will be setting up roadblocks trying to keep the crowd like control as they're retreating I will delete that eventually but not until after I've ended the stream and that's all comments I think so yeah um, like I say if anybody's watching and they haven't already subscribed please do your name will pop up on the screen also um, if anybody wants to make a donation I the link is in the uh, description if anyone wants to donate and let's support my work what else is there oh do like me on Facebook as well and uh, there is also a link in the description to my Facebook uh, mod DB also if you'd search if pretty much search on every bloody social network might map one two three I'm practically on it oh, those Americans look so cool they look pretty badass really looking forward to Diplex's uh, version of this but yeah I'm gonna end the stream there, there guys so um, uh, do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will be back again with another stream I think it'll be what day is it today it's Thursday today so it'll maybe be Saturday Sa Saturday or Sunday I'll be back with another stream so yeah thank you for watching and see you all later